Uh, Stephen, we have two of our scientists ashore saying they've lost video. Roger that. Um, oh, maybe it's back. Great work, man. <laughs> you were fast. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we trained for that. Swift. He's magic. <laughs> yes. Just a mind trick. Let me know if that, uh, if you get any more of that. Okay. <laughs> Are those two scientists in the same room? Uh, they're <laughs> not even on the same continent. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. Yeah. Yeah, look like some people out in the world are saying that it's back. Roger that. They were like, uh, no, out. not the video. We can't yeah. lose the video. But they're back, so we're good. Did they, did they keep the audio? Uh, no one's know. saying, but maybe. Seems like one of our scientists ashore has a new puppy. We're getting updates <laughs> or pup dates, you're getting if pup you will. Dates back we're getting there? we're getting pup <laughs> dates from Chris Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, you're Pic leaving me out of the pup dates. Come on. And no pictures, just just you know, yeah. just some chat about the pup. That must so. be why he's not out here with us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know the pup dates are so good. Are there photos in the science chat? No, not unfortunately of the puppy. not. I don't think I've ever heard or used that terminology. Pup dates? That's going oh, in my pocket. Pup dates, yeah. <laughs> That's going in my pocket. Chris, can you send a pup date photo to the <laughs> uh, crew's email address, please? <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it in the is floating about oh, in yeah. the water there. Zoom at your leisure, Steve. Uh, if you can. Some gelatinous. Can you show on porch lights? Yeah, mm. porch lights. Might disappear when porch light comes on. We'll find out. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh where are boy. you? Where'd you go? There you oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Pew. <laughs> Whoop! Oh, you low. You oh. are. Whoa, right there. Up close and cozy. Yeah. Hello. Retreat. <laughs> huh? Whoa. Wow. Little sea right, star maybe? down there. Is that that same sea star we've okay, been seeing that light. munching on bamboo coral? Uh, maybe. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Can't tell. I have to get a closer look. How is the uh, current feeling in this little spot here, Trevor? I don't know. I've been doing a bunch of silly, drastic maneuvers, so uh, <laughs> not bad. There's definitely not much life here well, let's compared go dead stick to for where we while. were. See mm -hmm. what happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's how much I've moved since we talked. Wow. Not much current. Not much life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Wow, that shifted so fast, I feel like. Is that a bumper sticker? Current is life. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, Hercules' two green laser beams look very cool in this shot. <laughs> <laughs> Off into the abyss. The train tracks disappearing into the distance. Mm -hmm. I love when it, the water is so clear that you cannot see the beams. You can only see where the lasers are hidden. Mm. That's how you know it's very clear water. Bridge nav. Can we move another five zero meters bearing three one five, please? Thank you. What is our ship move speed, Lynette? Uh, we are about 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Okay, that's good. Unless we think we can go faster while we're moving over this feature. We've only got another, what is that, probably ship length to go before we're back to the flats. Maybe two. 
Okay. Yeah. So. We'll just stay where we are and be patient. <laughs> Trevor, you're going to be jealous. We now have a we photo. We have an actual pup <gasps> date photo. Oh, we've got yeah. a pup <laughs> date. Chris, I feel so left out. Is it on a Is phone or a, a computer? It's, it's on, on the computer. computer. It's on the chat It's on the here. science chat. Yeah. Steve, can you put that on the yeah, all the four Roger, screens? Roger, Roger. <laughs> Blaster the photo on all the screens. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> is that a is that a doodle, a golden doodle or something? Uh, oh, it's oh, sweet. My heart hurts. So cute. <laughs> oh man. That might take me a minute here. Yeah. If you if you zoom on my monitor, that would okay, work. Let me see if I can find it. Golden retriever, not a doodle. Mm. Oh, a golden boy. Mm-hmm. It looks like he has indeed retrieved something. A brush, maybe? Uh, it looks like a brush. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh. <laughs> no. What? Yeah. Oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> What's yes. the dog's name? Oh, I don't know. I, we haven't... I Katie. guess we'll find out soon. <laughs> Maybe we'll put in the chat. Katie. I think. Dog's name is Katie? I think so. What a cute dog. Katie. Yep. The accomplished oh. thief, says Chris. <laughs> oh. Look at her cute little feet. Yeah. <laughs> Big old feet. Yeah, I think for those of you all at home, sure. uh, you can tell we miss our pets mm -hmm. <laughs> and critters that we've uh, left back on shore. So we're always happy to get pup dates, as you call them, from home. <laughs> Other yeah, otherwise we start getting really affectionate towards the samples we pull up. <laughs> we'll start eating them, maybe. <laughs> we're trying to name that. That eight-pointed star the other day. <laughs> oh, that was sunny. You can Aww, see the puppy man. in uh, Channel 3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the folks at home were like, we need to see the puppy. <laughs> Should be able to see it on feed three, you guys, if you're out there watching. I'll yeah. give it another uh, 15 seconds. <laughs> like 15 seconds. Yeah. I was like, oh, 10 seconds. <laughs> Unfortunately, Katie is not out here with us. Oh, we should have like a, a neither is dog. Katie's human, Chris, <laughs> but we're very yeah, thankful, thankful to have Chris's expertise shared with us via the Scientist Ashore portal. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for that, Steve. No problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. Kind of different rock surface too. Is that yeah, sediment on top of the rock? Yeah, or it seems what is flatter. That? Yeah, a it little looks, bit of sediment. Looks like sediment with some tiny nodules on it. Do a quick turn, make people seasick a little bit here. That'll be good. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Atlanta pilot seasick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't look at the Atlanta view. <laughs> Anything look interesting? Well, does that tell you something oh. about the sediment there? <laughs> Ooh, All right, where did right, you I'm go? I'm closing my eyes here. <laughs> 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 I'm just holding on tight. Just, just hang on, Ash, hang on. on. What is in the water column there? <laughs> Jelly? Oh, it looks like it, yeah. Ooh. Be free. <laughs> <laughs> I was not briefed on this. What <laughs> happens when you just take it for a ride? <laughs> that zoom is uh, touchy. R r runs away on me, but yeah. I got it to, to pause. You know when your car window gets like 
it, it'll go up and then you try to go down and it, it won't stop going down and then it won't stop going up. <laughs> oh, that? yeah. This is why I have manual crank. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Do they still make cars with manual crank? They it's do a, indeed. It's a really? <laughs> because oh. my husband has <laughs> I, Yeah. It is the most frustrating thing going up down. You don't down, get frustrated, down, Trevor, if you need down. to like roll the one on the other side. You have to like lean all the way over. The lean. <laughs> so you're one of those guys that'll drive a 2008 car, but you have to have the brand new ROV. Yeah. <laughs> this ROV is not, ROV not brand new. This ROV's got power. Windows. It's not, is it? <laughs> it's a manual transmission, I assume, as well, yeah. Trevor. Right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Single speed, though, so it's easy. <laughs> yeah. Just requires player? you and six of your friends to help get it going. <laughs> that pedal power? Great towing capacity, apparently. <laughs> towing Argus, yeah. It's a pull start. <laughs> 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 Model T, you have to wind it up. <laughs> How many seahorses that thing got under the hood? Oh! <laughs> Ooh, gold star for you, Ashton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud. <laughs> Can I unsay it? <laughs> <laughs> nope, too late, too late. No, that was, that was, a, that was beautiful. That was well played. I think we're a little punchy after dinner. <laughs> Great. Oh, we really haven't seen much on this. It just happened so fast. <laughs> we're Not almost at the flat now. <laughs> Not much of the biology that we had been seeing at the ridge mm. top, no. Yeah. Hmm. Wonder what the cause is of that. Interesting. I'd say less current. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the and the substrate life. also is probably not as ideal for mm. attaching, attaching yourself for long term. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a little coral. Yeah, there's a couple little ones here and there. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're hanging on. Is that a little black coral over in the corner? Looks, Looks like, like it. it, yeah. We got time for a quick half zoom on that. Go ahead, Steve. It's very far away. Bridge nav. Kind of gives us a nice look at the surface Can as well. Can we have mm. another 50 meters bearing 315, Ooh. please? Well, hold on a second. Thank right you. Right there is a fun little, I think it's a benthic forum. Oh, I see. Or or maybe a, I'm thinking of some, um, what is it called? Uh, go ahead and zoom a little more. Oh, Steve. and a worm there. Yeah. Are we talking about the worm or the? Nope. Nope. Zoom in more. Th th there's one, it just went out of the frame, the better looking one. Coming wide. You zoom wide again. Ooh. Right there. Okay, sure. Oh, it's yeah. Oops. I forget what these are called. <laughs> if Steve were zoom. with us, he would remind me. Maybe Chris knows. All right, Steve, that's all I can get. Bathy pathies? That's the black coral that oh, we just looked okay, at. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, thanks. Okay, come wide, please. Yeah, so even in these areas, you actually, <coughs> when you, once you see them, you see them everywhere. Yep. Are they sponges? I don't remember what they're called. Xenophyophore, thank you, Chris. Xenophyophore, oh, that's, okay. That's not the single cell organism, is it? Uh, yes, yeah, Xenophyophores you know, can't be single cell. Cool. Interesting. They're not in our cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just said, oh, looked like a Xenophyophore. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Such a knowledgeable audience. I know. It makes me feel like I wonder, you know, for things that are broadcast from like the space station or whatever <laughs> if most of their audience is like other astronaut enthusiasts i know like, that's what you're looking at <laughs> that's the star formation is oh here's a fish <gasps> oh that's a fish larger that's a big one. Oh yeah Dark. just all down there by his lonesome steve whenever you feel like it go for it i'll keep working here point 
pointy nose. Wow. Is, uh, yeah. I don't see this one a lot. Oh. Mm -mm. I would look at him. And I don't have that one on my cheat sheet, so I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm trying to take some good stills of it, but I'll have a peek in a sec. I don't think Ken is on with us anymore. He's one of our fish experts. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Actual fish. Wow. It has beautiful eyes. Yeah. Interesting. Incredible piloting. Thank you. Yeah, really. This fish doesn't seem that scared of the ROVs either. Doesn't look like it's worried. All right, it's fish in the family Mordae, the Pidion, Chris is suggesting. Oh, hit the brakes. Very cool. It's I'm a gonna codlet. Go for a here. Huh. Oh, wow. Hmm. Nice. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Indeed. almost like a whisker down. Uh, yeah, or a it's got the two spine. feelers. Did you uh -huh. see its eye move? That was really cool. Wow. Wow. Is that coming wide. Okay. It's pretty large. Beautiful. Yeah. Did we did we hit it with the lasers? I think it was below. We did. Oh, okay. I thought about sixty centimeters oh, wow. long. It's. I'm gonna chase him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave him alone. Maybe he's trying to show you something. Yeah, you should follow him. Take us to the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I ever show you the video of, it was a different system than this, following along with the rockfish and looking through its eyeball? What? Oh. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, you, you were like uh, over its shoulder in a way? Yeah, it was right, It was a, the camera's lower to the ground on that system mm. and the fish was going directly away from the vehicle and the, had the kind of bulbous globe, whatever, stick out of head eyes, and you could see through the eyeball to the ground below. That's cool. It oh. was, of course, distorted, but it was really right. wild. Things you can only say below sea. Was it upside down, actually? Because I think if you look through a sphere of glass... I We didn't get that kind of resolution. You know what I'm talking about, though? I know, totally, yeah. yeah where it flips, it flips it over, yeah. yeah. No, there was no... It was not that kind of resolution, but it was just a neat phenomenon. Sounds cool. What is that in the right-hand corner? We might be past it. Like a dark thing? The thing that's laying on oh, the seafloor. Oh, a little cucumber? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, well spotted. Been. I'm going to bump the camera. Just, yeah, sea cucumber. Can you zoom past the nozzle, please? Thank you. Okay, zoom in all the way. What do we got? Whoa. Oh. Oh. That is cool looking. I love it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Is oh, boy. That. Huh. Okay, come wide. Thanks. Huh. <coughs> I know what's going on. Beth, do you mind repeating uh, what Chris Kelly thought that uh, fish may have been, just for the folks out there? Uh, so perhaps a species called the Pidion. All right, Steve. And uh, in the family Muridae. Got it. Uh, maybe not a Lepidion, but an Antimora. Hmm. Oh, and we have people co-signing, thinking that it's also Antimora, so maybe. <laughs> All right, I should probably start going the correct direction here. <laughs> Trevor, is there any chance that uh, the manipulator on the port side is drifting? See what I, don't, I don't think so. Okay. I just, I just you, moved you, it. Okay. Yeah, I saw that, and then, I, and then it appeared again in my frame, so I wasn't sure. Uh, I know. What if I do? 
Looks like there's a eel type fish in the uh, Atalanta view. It pops in and out of frame every couple seconds. Nope, now it's gone. Okay, there you go, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like the car window. <laughs> it won't it's stop. running away. Should I got the manual roll zoom? Yeah. <laughs> we just swim down there and adjust it. Yeah. Are well, we, we ready for games. another step? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Bridge nav. Oh, wait, hold on. Holding on. That looks like a ballast stone. Oh, stand by. Oh. Oh. Nice eye. A what stone? Uh, like a, a stones oh, used for ballast. Like, like historical old ships. Oh, yeah. ships. Well, I mean, just in the sense that it does not look like the rocks on the seafloor here. Oh, wild. Okay. Maybe I remember we saw this on the Voyager seamounts too. Yeah. Um. That's a cool thing to think about. Yeah. Let's see if I can center it up just slightly better here. Maybe. It doesn't look as out of place okay, to me as Good. that one we saw on the other cruise. True. Yeah, that one looks over. I was like, that's a rounded rock that didn't come from here. But yeah, this is. Doesn't look like it's from this place. Yeah. Are we sampling that? Uh, I don't think so. Um, hmm. Stephen, can we zoom out a little, please? Roger that. Atlanta. I'm heaving around. I can't quite hold it. I'll try my best. To s that <laughs> sticky zoom is. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going um, right there. Thanks. Yeah, Trevor, if we have a chance to maybe just we like poke chance. at it and see if it's soft and crumbly. Come in wide. Craft arm and bubble, please. Oh, I got it right here. Never mind. Ah. What's this thing right here? Oh, sorry. I'm back on the. Just a poke. For now. Yeah, I'm just curious if it's like really hard. It's I'll try and poke it away from that uh, sponge. Yeah. Seems Feels pretty really solid. Light. Yeah. Should I crush it? Yeah, try seeing if you. <laughs> Should I crush it? <laughs> try seeing if you if it's soft, squishable. Oh. Let's take oh. a look at that. Mm. Wow. Uh -huh. Want to zoom? Yeah, it's huh. weird. It almost looks like a... has a lot more material, like... Structure, texture. Growing on it, it feels like. You see all the filaments? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's weird. It definitely doesn't look like it's from here. Is it... Could it be a, um, hmm. a really old furry hat sponge? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's gonna haunt you, isn't it, Steve? It might. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like weird. It's like <laughs> a mudstone almost. Yeah, it's very, very light. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, we're still paused on the ship's move, correct, Lynette? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if we want to try to maybe scoop some of the rocks. That's not this rock, but the other rocks. Are you finished with this rock? I think we're finished with this rock. You'd like a scoop here? Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> rock. Potentially. Get that out Can of we, here. Can um, we... <laughs> oh, okay. We can make it work. Yeah. Do you want a scoop? Potentially, yeah. Can we zoom in on the, the black rocks a little bit more? Just yeah, to see what uh, we're looking see. at? Yeah, let's see. What am I looking at here? Uh, how about right ahead of us? Go ahead. Yeah. Mm. Um, Trevor, before we try scooping, yeah. what do you think about trying to just kind of gently rub the manipulator against yeah, the ground see to see loose. if they're loose? Come wide, please, Steve. Do you want to try a porch slide? Tool or the nuzzling? Sure. What happy? the heck? Let's see? Yeah. Kind of washed out. Yeah. 
Well, moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, they're loose. Yeah. Okay. That should be scoopable. Are you? Would you like to use the clear plastic or the mesh bag scoop for this one? Oh, um, I'm a fan of the clear plastic, but I've never tried the ring net. The so ring net one is great once. Yeah. Well, we might not get another chance. Okay. Come full so wide, please. So let's give it a try. Super extra wide. And porch light on, please. That's what you're hoping for microbes on this? On. Yeah, we'll look at it. Well, okay. Everything's gonna have microbes on it. It's just whether or not I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> Sorry, make sure I make sure I understood there. You want to use a ring net because this might be our only shot. Yeah, Kay. there's an interest from shore in trying it out to get some rocks. So sure. we'll give it a go. Sounds good. Oops. This is secure. I have no one to blame myself. <laughs> okay, that's enough of this. Yeah, <clears throat> that soft stone is still really perplexing to me. Where did it come from? Are we sure it's a stone? Could it be something else? I'm not, I have no confidence in anything. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> yeah, Lynette, that's a good question. I wondered about that too after we poked it a bit. Yeah. Might get a xenophyophore in this collection too. There's so many of them. Okay, here we go. So I can do multiple scoops, but I can only do it in one sample, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, a bad start, but take what we can get. This is also the visibility ruiner. Don't have the help of our current anymore. No, exactly. So it's going left to right, so I should probably start right. What's the uh, mesh size on that bag? Uh, small. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a better answer, sorry. That's fine. That seemed like a good scoop. Well, this is answering my question. It's definitely small enough to get the fines out. Yes. Yeah. Do you want me to get the fines out? Oh, what you're doing is fine. This Kay. is great. We might be here forever if I keep this up. So <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to overdo it. <laughs> they don't need to be clean. <laughs> this is not the rock cleaning part of the job. Yeah. Um, really fun view from Atlanta. Nice job, Bastian. Thank you. Thanks for the zoom there, Stephen. Ugh. Ooh, bumpy. Where are we storing this mesh bag, mesh scoop? We are going to go to Lambda, oh. Forward Bio Box, Lambda. Ooh, Lambda. Right. There's, Lambda. That's, there's already a rock in there, so hopefully this will also fit. Yes. I'm going to do a little hop. Oh, meh, meh, meh. Maybe I can keep going here. Oops. Looks like you can almost do a push core there. How full would you like this bag? I think this scoop is, that could be the last one. I got I it. I think we got plenty in there. 
All right, I think I got zero in the last scoop, but that's fine if you're happy. Yeah, I'm no, happy. I think it, it's right. like a in the, uh, Halloween bag for scientists. <laughs> <laughs> Trick or treat. In that Adelana, Adelana can that looks like Herc is about to have a hot cup of coffee. Totally. All a hard day's work. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, could you please oh. open Lambda? Nothing floaty up here, I think. Yeah, oh, nothing look floaty. At, look at that. We've got labels on the bio box. Do we look ever? Look who did that. Double labels. Okay, stop there. All right. Hey. I don't know that that's going to fit in there. Is that white out? No, white paint. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Beth? We might have to go in the Omega. Yeah, maybe. I don't think that's all going to fit oh, in there with yeah. the rock. We just make a big mess first, then we'll, then we'll discuss. <laughs> Yikes. I'm trying to put it in this side up too, just so it doesn't spill. Oh, I need to. No. Um. Dan, can you make note in the both bio boxes that there's a bunch of sediment in them? I sure will. Thank you. Okay, let's see if this fits. Has anyone tried to put this in there at all? <laughs> That'd be an interesting development. Yeah, this, well actually, when you picked it up, it was different than what I was imagining. I was thinking the ring now was a little bit smaller. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me... Can I stuff that in there, maybe? So it float away on us? All right. still there. Get off of my hip. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Come on. What? <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be once. No. We are one. Yeah, it's like when you get a spider web that you just can't get yes. off. Yeah. <laughs> Our piece of hair just won't go it's away. Swimming crinoid. Yeah, it does look like a crinoid, doesn't it? Oops, wow, what was that? What are the odds you want to put this in the, uh, can you toolbox out a bit more, possibly? Yeah, let me try that out. Does it? It might. Oh, there is more. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. <gasps> That's all there is, oh. though. Oh. That's all we got. We definitely should have tried this on, on, uh, not on shore. What is it called? <laughs> on the boat first. On the deck. Yeah, that's it. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm wondering if we need to reconsider putting this in the, uh, starboard bio box. This is the last shot. Okay, little guy. Hmm. Chris has oh. aptly <laughs> called this trying to put a round peg, peg <laughs> in a square <laughs> hole. I was good at that as a kid. Just use force, they say. Special skills. Ooh. Ooh. Possible. Let me do one more little adjusto here. Uh, let's do this. Okay, what if you just go ahead and close the box? Okay. Want me to try it out? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay, <laughs> open again. Okay, one more try. And okay. close the box. <laughs> oh. 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 It's not going to go, no. is it? Oh. If it does go, it won't seal. Okay. Yeah. That is tantalizingly close. Man. <laughs> Rats. Okay. Could it fit on its side or is everything just going to fall? Oh, that out? handle's huge. 
There could be a rock underneath the PVC, you know? Ah, uh, good call, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I probably would have fit on deck, but not full of rocks. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can get it. So, should I pull it out? What do you? What would you like to do here? Yeah, I, if we can't close the bio box, that's not going to work. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if, I don't know how we're going to get it out, but let's try to get it out. Okay. And you want to do um, one more try just while I'm here? Yeah. Close it. Okay, come on. No. Aww. Okay. Okay. That's too bad. Was it mentally on its side? Uh... I don't think it will with the big silly handle. handle. Yeah, okay. Well, that's not attached anymore, so that's great. Let's just put that over here. It worked that time, that's cool. <sighs> All right, how do you get this out of here now? Hmm. What have I done? <laughs> Can you go wide on Atlanta, please? Okay, you can go back in if you want. Oh man, I'm gonna get really smashy here, aren't I? No. Rats. This is an example of where coral cutters are great for cutting coral, but for using tooling, they're just horrendous. Especially when you're trying to pick up slippery yeah. PVC. Slippery plastic inside a, yeah. You could try putting it in and then spreading them. Oh, that's a neat thought. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's creative. too rounded I think oops you should just destroy the plastic <laughs> mix it up with all the rocks yeah make it a challenge oh there oh. we go oh there we go oh. Woo. nice nope, three we dumped some this will be a good test of how well the <laughs> net holds material no, I, saw, I saw it puke <laughs> three out already four well they're on the porch yeah, there's one on the porch all right, let's extendo this past all the dust. Yeah, we lost three or four or five. So I could either rescoop or just go for it. Oh, uh, sorry, I was uh, typing to Chris. Uh, ask me again. We had three or four or five fall out. Yeah, I think there's still plenty in there. I mean, that bag still looks pretty full. Maybe. Um, but Maybe. yeah, if you want to try to add some more to it, why not? I think we should. Yeah. Okay. I. I think there's a couple in there. Can you zoom in, Steve? There's a couple in there. Yeah, there's a decent amount. Two or three? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do one more scoop as I'm going over that way anyway. And you can tool tray in, please. Okay. See the pile on the front porch there? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Those will make it up, right? Absolutely not. No? <laughs> Oh, that was a nice scoop. Okay, so we'll put this in Echo or Foxtrot, I suppose. Either one is fine. There's no bio. Uh, okay. No floaty Okay, can bits. I see craft arm and bubble, please? Yes. It's craft arm. So, Beth, some folks just tuned in. Can we uh, update them on why we're scooping? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we are on, uh, we're transiting in between two mound features, so we're in okay, kind of a saddle. Okay, starboard box open, please. Echo and Fox are both open? Yes. Okay. Starboard box open. And um, oftentimes in these depressions, where current is different than on the mounds themselves, we see these, what we call uh, ferromanganese nodules that form. Um, Oftentimes there's some kind of nucleating agent, maybe it's sediment or who knows what, um, that mm. gets these alteration rinds of ferromanganese oxides that precipitate 
And so we're using the scoop to try to collect them because they're pretty small. Mm -hmm. So it would take a long time to pick them all up with a manipulator. <laughs> Takes a long time to scoop them, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see. Yeah. Okay, visit any time now would be super duper. The espresso machine is really impressive. <laughs> Could you keep an eye on Delta? I'm dead stick right now. Yes, keeping an eye out. These boxes are deeper than the forward ones, which is nice. Whoop, come on, come on, come on. What, oh. how does that happen? There you go, There we Boom. go. Nice, Let's try wow, closing that now. All right, starboard tray in. All right, now that I've, my heading is all wonky. Oh, please close. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, it'll close. I'm good, right? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> okay, now I can do these ones. Stow oh. the arm. Fix up my heading. Is the mesh scoop new or just not used as often just as the other one? It's not used very often, yeah. Gotcha. Because of the one time usedness, it's not very. Mm. Yeah, not very practical. efficient. Yeah, practical. And oh, also the big okay. okay, let me know when you're ready for a ship move. Oh yeah, thanks, Lynette. Um, zoning out back here. Let's do it. Yeah, ready. Okay. Bridge Front porch, nav. please. Front porch. On bubble. Gotcha. Turn Can we move five zero meters bearing 315, please? Thank you. That was... <laughs> Frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Does not fit in the front box. Should I turn to starboard or port right now? So we have zero tether wraps, and we have we have zero tether wraps. And if you turn to port or starboard, will it take that turn out? Uh, port. Right. That was kind of a guess. Right hand rule. Thumb down so or thumb up. Th thumb <laughs> point of the vehicle, I guess. <laughs> gotcha. And come up on your Delta, yeah. please. All right, coming up. Yeah. Do the, the right Delta before there. you do your turn. Getting that Delta up. 15 sound good? 20. 20. Because I'm kind of right underneath you right now, so you want to be a little higher, especially if doing a big turn. Sounds like a plan. All right, we're at 20. OK. And two ports. Might be, might around. be stuck again. You can just on and off the auto heading. Yeah. Oh, can you pull? Oh, yeah. Congrats, I should have got you to pull up this motor page there. I'm still perplexed oh, on where oh that God, soft been. rock Sorry. came from. Nice so time. much to remember. Is it haunting you a little bit? It is. <laughs> it's out of place. <laughs> He's like, you don't belong. Where did you come from? <laughs> I still feel like it had a lot of filaments all over it. Something, something growing on it that is doesn't seem to be on the other surfaces. There you are. Maybe I'm making that up. Front row. People are wondering if you ever get dizzy or like vertigo or anything from all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I do today. <laughs> do you really? A sea star there. <laughs> I'm fine. Definitely a little discombobulated with the few of the turns we've done and the currents pushing us around. But Can you zoom in the star, please? She's not stars. dizzy. I think star there are the two show. of them. Double star of the show. Double Co star. Oops, sorry. Any of these wish list stars? I don't think so. Okay. Great, well then we'll move on.
Actually, there once was a wall terrier there, but it fell over. Someone's saying that they think the soft rock we saw looked more organic to them. Something that... Organic yeah, it, it definitely wasn't a, a hard rock like what the rest of this environment looks like. It just, is it, was it a carbonate? What was it? And if so, where did it come from? Mm -hmm. Carbonate, I'd buy carbonate. Yeah, I could totally buy that. It was much lighter than Can the other rocks Can we get a partial around. zoom right there in the center? Uh, negative, not okay. right now. Okay. Just doing some macro troubleshooting over there. Oh, yeah, right. Thank you. I can but get closer, though. No, it's fine. All right. No, thank you. Be over. Okay. Steven, I think if we're stable enough, we could get a zoom on Atalanta. I'm feeling pretty stable right now. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, Fire 4 is everywhere. Yeah. Looks great. Thanks. <laughs> I don't want to subject the audience to hearing me chew gum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an apple. Never mind. <laughs> the lone rock with a lone coral. Love it. Aww. And a sponge. It's like a desert in the ocean. <laughs> Can you zoom in on the desert ocean? <laughs> Look at that little guy tucked in there. Resilient Paragorgia. <laughs> shrimp? What is that? Yeah, what is that? It looks it yeah, doesn't it looks shrimpy a, shrimp. a little bit. Bottom yeah, shrimp. Another one inside the Oh. Thing or that's a star maybe? I can't I think tell. it's a star. Brittle star. Little oasis. Aww. <laughs> hmm. You can do it. <laughs> This is like the ocean equivalent of West Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what was what that? What was that? Oh, yeah, wait, that purple, purple coral? Yeah. 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 Oh. Was that that octocoral that we saw yesterday? Uh oh. Some other ROVs made a big mess down here. <laughs> Zoom in on the purple thing, please. Is that mm. that Stolonifera? Might be. I can't really tell. I can hear you. All right, that's as good yep. as we're going to get. That's fine. Thanks. Hold on. I, I'm not sure if that's what it was. No. Okay. Are you talking to somebody yep. else? Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're on SBL. All right. It's okay. Yeah, I'm wondering, it almost looked like a bubblegum coral in the structure of it, even though it was a different color. Mm-hmm. That one on the rock? The, the purple one. Oh. Victor Gorgia. Thank you. That's, That's cool. what it is. Yes, yeah. I recognize that. Oh, and the folks at home agree. Looks like <laughs> Victor Gorgia, maybe. Folks at home are good at this. They are. <laughs> All right, we're leaving the... What do you guys do for a living, folks at home? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're finally coming back to the ridge. Yeah. Okay. Coming out of this depression. Yeah, we're going to start Ooh. going uphill a little bit here.
You ready for another ship step? Yes, please. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing three one five, please? Thank you. Hey, Steve. Yes, Could Trevor? you please put the aft camera up in that black screen right there? Roger. I think it's normally there. Let me uh, check just to see if it's functioning. It properly. just went black. Yeah. I could try this one in the meantime. That camera just went down. Roger that. Uh, I can give you something else for the moment. Okay. Something similar. Some cool looking structure on this. Oh, someone's saying that sometimes they take screenshots when we're out um, exploring and they put them in a Facebook group for a scientist to ID some of the critters. So maybe that helps <laughs> people coming in with all the IDs. Nice. That's a good idea. <laughs> hmm. Neat. Hmm. Super helpful. Thanks for that. It's the only one so far. Getting a little bumpy down here. How's the weather? <laughs> Turbulent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the actual weather. The actual weather. Hmm. How's we the weather around there? <laughs> Good joke, Trev. Huh? I thought it was a height joke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm like 11 meters above you, so. <laughs> We've got, what do we have? We have like 14 and a half knot winds gusting to 16. Two meter heave? Yeah, about a one to two meter heave. Varying between a one and four degree roll and a one and four degree pitch. I don't know if that's interesting to anybody, but now you know. <laughs> I wonder what the thing is on the left side of the heave graph. Oh. <laughs> degrees? I, degrees heave. No, degrees that's not, heave. We are that's less than one degree of heave. heave. <laughs> Let's please keep it that way because this is, is significant feeling down here. It's not a real number. <laughs> We're getting a couple of them now. Steven, if you're able to zoom out on Atalanta, off the wall, maybe? it might make everyone oh. less seasick. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. <laughs> What's our bearing? Three something something? 315. 315. Thank you. Thanks so much. Are you a lefty? No. I see sideways notepads, and I assume lefty. Oh, no. No, no. As it's a just lefty. a lot of things here. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> that spiral isn't entirely the wrong place for a lefty. You're right. Absolutely. It's 180 <laughs> out, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the torture spiral. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Oh, looks like we have somebody who just found out about Ocean Exploration Trust and our live dives. i um, wondering where we are. Oh. Somebody want to tell them really quick? <laughs> sure, we'd love to. Thanks for joining us. Um, we are currently way out in the Central Pacific, uh, north 
of the Northwest Hawaiian Islands in an area near what's called the Liliokalani Ridge. We are exploring a feature that was only recently mapped last night. Um, we're trying to understand the formation of these underwater uh, volcanic features, seamounts, ridges, and so we are um, exploring a, a series of these mounds, working our way to the northwest. What we're seeing here is um, some nice shiny flow features with a couple corals, not nearly as high a density of animals as we've seen earlier in the dive, but maybe as we get more up on the ridge and into the current, we'll see that animal density increase again. Um, our expedition is intended to explore seamounts within the Papahanamoa Kuakea Marine National Monument mm -hmm. to help understand the animal diversity that is protected in this monument area. Um, we've had some bad weather to the south within the monument. That yeah, it was a little rough. <laughs> kind of <laughs> encouraged us to go a little north outside the monument boundaries to explore similar uh, seamounts of that same ridge that cross over outside of the boundary. So that's where we are right now. Yeah, and if you are interested in any more information, definitely encourage you to uh, go on NautilusLive.org, go under Expeditions, and there are uh, really great summaries of every expedition uh, that OET does, and including the one that we are currently on now. Um, you can learn about some of the objectives, learn about the area that we're exploring, and get to know the team that is on board EB Nautilus. So glad that you found us. Have fun exploring the site. Help you stay along. Can you scroll the wrong way for a moment? Yep. We also, um, if you're on the expedition page for our current expedition, cool. which is There's expedition the, uh, uh, Nautilus 138, which also has the name Luaea Ahiki'i Kekumu. Um, this is part of a series of expeditions that have been done in this part of the world within and around the Papahanamoa Kuakea Marine National Monument, which is a really unique area in that it protects both natural and cultural resources. Um, and if you'd like to learn more about the monument and um, the cultural connection of native Hawaiian communities to this region and Polynesian uh, cultures, uh, you can find that through the expedition webpage, or you can also go to papahanamoakuakea.gov. Uh, um, it's part of the National Marine Sanctuaries. You can also find it through that. Hey, Beth, you might find this interesting. Okay. Uh, if you look at high pack screen, yes. you see the trail of Atalanta, and you see how it crosses over the ship's trail right in the saddle. I cannot see Atalanta on, oh, okay, blue. Atalanta is yep. the blue one or green or something? Yeah, gray. I know, I can see it. Yeah, so you can see how the current is changing direction. Yeah, yeah. Totally, as soon as we get to the other side of the saddle, it's gone right the other way. You guys are being pushed to the northeast now instead of to the southwest. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready for another ship move? Yes. Yes, please. Bridge nav. Yeah, so for anybody that's new, to Can Nautilus we move line. five zero meters bearing three one five, please? Thank you. Uh, if you're on nautiluslive.org, and if you're looking at what's called the quad view, where you can see the four different views streaming from Nautilus, in channel three, or the lower left hand of the quad, you can see what Trevor was referring to, high pack. It's our view of where we are on the seafloor. Um, kind of like a topographic map. And so the red is a trace of the ROV Hercules position on the seafloor. And the thin blue line is the trace of the ROV Atalanta, which is further off the seafloor looking down on Hercules. And the ship shaped shape. <laughs> the, green, the green part. <laughs> ship shaped ship shape. <laughs> <laughs> it's the green floating part in the middle of all the lines. <laughs> yep. That is the Nautilus up at the surface. We're operating at about a little over two kilometers water depth. Um, about 6,000 feet, a little over a mile of water depth. Uh, 
Um, Stephen, do you mind putting up the sonar view in channel three? So for those watching at home, if you're on ch looking at channel three or the quad view, we now have the view of the sonar returns from both ROV Atalanta on the left and ROV Hercules on the right. The bright yellow is an indication of um, uh, slopes, you know, features up ahead. Um, and so clearly there's a wall of rock in front of Hercules, but we can also see in Atalanta's view that this ridge continues up, um, and which matches what we were seeing on high pack, that we're climbing up a ridge here. Thanks, Stephen. Dealer's choice, what you want to put there. And as we're okay. coming up into shallower depths, we're starting to see some animals again. Stephen, I think we're safe to zoom a little more on Atalanta. What's that, Ashton? You want me to make wild, drastic maneuvers? Oh, yeah, Trevor, I would love that. All I'll right. just uh, hang on to my life for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Batten down the hatches. The what? Batten down the hatches. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. I'm not over there. <laughs> so seeing some similar animals that we saw in the last ridge feature that we were on. These Walteria sponges, what look like cup corals on some of the rocks. Ooh. Yeah, who's talking to me? Yep. I think so. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Oh, now we're starting to get a little bit of coral cover back. Yeah, here we bit. go. Here we go. And we're back. <laughs> you can see that the current going this direction is predominantly, I don't know, words, whatever. It always goes left to right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, southwest and northeast, it looks like. Yeah, it's not just a one-off tidal thing. Our chairs, our chairs are not on wheels, somebody's wondering. Uh, that would be very dangerous if we <laughs> were in wheeled chairs. <laughs> we would definitely be sliding all around. Um, no, they are not on wheels, and that's what keeps us sturdy where we are. We have a wheeled stool in the ROV hangar, oh. which we only generally <laughs> use during heavy seas. <laughs> <laughs> it's real fun. <laughs> like, we. Good question, but yeah, no. <laughs> I would be smashing all into Annabelle, and that would not be good. These chairs are pretty heavy. <laughs> they don't let you go anywhere. <laughs> the, Mine's uh, bolted to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> the cabin that I'm in has a wheeled chair. Really? Wow. That's yes. That must not be. <laughs> <laughs> are your feet just always annoying. planted? <laughs> yeah, it's a very, I mean, it doesn't roll a lot. I, I don't know, maybe it's been gummed up. I'm not sure, but <laughs> definitely has wheels. Do you That's have to put it upside down at night so you can sleep? No, we just shove it under the desk. Uh, <laughs> does it 
knock back and forth? No. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Just it's not like super you. rolly. It just it does, but it does roll when you push on it. The ROV wheeled one is Ooh, not so rolly. Check it's, that uh, sea star out. Just gouging down on that bamboo it's coral. Rusty. Oh Can wow! Zoom in, please? Ah. Yeah. There you go. Is it edible? Oh, Cor it's so cute! Whoa. Oh my Look gosh! At it. Uh, so cool. He reminds me of those guys in Louisiana during the hurricane videos. They're like, are you going to stay out the storm? And they're like holding on to trees while the wind's going oh my gosh. 80 miles per hour. Oh, this look at it! <laughs> it's a good look at the uh, bamboo feature. Yeah, good yeah. call. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, I forget it's what those are it? called. No, yep. it's... Oh, awesome. yep. It's eating the polyps. Oops. Oh, wow. poor polyps. Has it eaten all of the polyps? Yes. Yeah. Below it? Wow. wow. Leave some I for mean, someone else, buddy. But this could have been, it could have taken years, right? Is yeah, like it's, yeah. it's not a fast process. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't dinner last night. He's yeah. been working on this. He's been working on this stem for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Yes. We, can we shall out. name this Sea Star Ashton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that is a, that's a Ray. <laughs> or Rick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nom nom. 285, sure. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing 285? Thank you. Great adjustment. Yeah, we can see here another bamboo coral that obviously had been predated on. Mm. Oh, yeah. And then why would the uh, sea star bail out after only halfway eaten? I don't know. Maybe they get full and they come back later. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it's almost like corn on the cob when you think about it. I do really wonder what that time scale is. Yeah. If it's, you know, days or years. That would be interesting to know. Should set up a camera here. Come back in a couple years. We also do not have swinging hammock berths. No, we do not. Are mm -hmm. there's there's. Ooh. That would be <laughs> wish but I it did. sounds interesting. Um, I don't think that would work very well for me. I definitely wouldn't get any sleep if I was just like swinging. <laughs> well, uh, y you actually stay stable and the ship moves around you. Oh. Uh -huh. It's actually a really nice way Is to sleep nice? on a ship. <laughs> yeah. Have like you brought like a try gimbal? Try? Not in a berth, but out on the deck. Oh. Yes. I'll give that a try. That <laughs> sounds nice. There have been a couple of days where you have to like pad yourself into the bunk with a pillow so that you don't roll over. Yeah, <laughs> yep, for sure. It does depend a little bit if your bunk is a beam or if it's fore and aft or... Yeah, that also affects it, which orientation your your bunk is facing. I think the only athwartships bunks are 50 and 51. Oh, is that maybe, so? Maybe four? Uh, the, is that the room right off of the lounge? Oh, those ones. Yeah, those are earthworships too. What number is that even? I don't even know what number that One is. One and two. I don't know. Who knows? What's over here? What's that white thing in the distance? I don't know what you're referring to. Look at an Atalanta view. That oh. thing. white thing in the distance. Oh, Whoa. oh, it's Ooh. coming up. Some type Ooh. of coral. Looks. Hmm. It's a dead coral, I guess. Yeah. Oh, coral ah. skeleton. Yeah. Cool. Looks like there might be a little more off to the right there. 
little more dead coral. Oh yeah. A little more big dead coral. <laughs> it's bright white, yeah. A lot more density over here. Oh, it's a sponge. Okay. And a coral. Looks like somebody was suggesting Dr. Scott France to maybe please. know about the sea stars and how long it takes them to eat. Um, looks like he's at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette, deep sea biologist. Yeah, Scott is a <laughs> regular expert. Oh, wow, chimes in with beautiful. Nautilus expeditions. Oh, nice. The ruffles and then those uh, little pink. The little pink, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and we okay. have oh, a, something a on there. It's a crab. Or, what did we think those I didn't get a great were. look at it. Did you just say porch light? Nope. Oh, I said come wide, please. I yeah. gotcha. Ooh. Wee. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. For the record, I have no control over that. <laughs> <laughs> Could you hold steady? <laughs> uh, how many items are on the wish list? A lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pages Quite, long. It's, it's pages and very... Uh, Lots of different things. Lots of different things. Grouped sponges, corals, echinoderms. Is that, a, is that <laughs> arthropods, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should crowdsource that wish list. Send it to the Facebook group. <laughs> what do you, what does everybody want? <laughs> yeah, that's I really don't want anything for Christmas. I just want a bathy pathy oh, plugged fish. from the bottom Ooh. of the sea. Whoa. Oh, that's a different one. Oh. You could do a zoom. Oh. Nice big dorsal. Oh, look at that. Doesn't make seem to like the lights. Make up your mind, buddy. I wonder if that's this Macroridae. I'm sure there's other folks who are more experienced in this than I am. Oh, wide. Thank you. Corythenoides, perhaps. Okay, watch team. I need to follow up on the guy who randomly ran into our site. Yeah. He said that he just sent a link of this site to his grandkids and in our honor made a donation just now. Thanks very much. Oh, Aww. wonderful. Aww. Yeah. Aww, that's sweet. Yeah. That's so that's nice. Awesome. That's really cool. We're so glad that you found I know. Nautilus Live. <clears throat> Send it the links to everyone. Yeah. Well, <laughs> We'll be diving on this feature for a couple more hours, um, and then we'll be recovering the ROVs back to the surface. Um, Zoom in on the stars. We'll still be broadcasting live, um, even when the ROVs aren't in the water. So, oh yeah, there's another chonker. Oh, this oh. is now becoming like my favorite thing happy. I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, stars chomping on the bamboo coral. Happy. I don't want this blown up a picture in my room. This is cool. So we ha we don't have a watch name yet. Oh, just throwing it out there. All right. Oh, do the other watches have names? Right. Are we supposed to Typically, have a name? Typically, at some point we develop a watch name, but I don't know <laughs> if the other ones have. I, I know we got off to a slow start with the long transit and the weather, but. I don't know. We don't have to wait for others to get a name. We can just no, come up yeah. with one if we want yeah. one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And the folks that are listening out there, if you have any uh, suggestions, throw them in the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> crowdsource. Crowdsource. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. What should our watch be? We are the 4 to 8 watch. What's our watch name? <laughs> Definitely 
you a little more current over here. Mm -hmm. What are we, almost uh, 100 meters off the stern now? Yeah, we are just swung all yeah. the way over. Yep. The old grandfather clock. All right, I probably should be saying some of the things about what we're looking at. <laughs> Is that hemichorallium? It kind of looks like it. In the lower left? Yeah. It looks like we might have a bubblegum coral coming up. Mm -hmm. The bubblegum pink. The Look at it nestled in there. The tufts of sort of fuzzy looking things as Chrysogorgia. Can you zoom in a little bit? Just a little bit. That's great. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, yeah, wow, lots of beautiful. things here. Two different style of crinoids. Yeah, so we got a crinoid here, the yellow one, and then another one over here, a red. Ooh, the red is beautiful. Oh, something floating by there. It's going away. We've got some really clear water now, as I was talking about earlier. Yeah. You can't, oh, you yes, can't see yes, the even. beams of the lasers. You can only see where they're hidden. Wow, oh, that's, that's so interesting. Thanks Good for that Good observation, yeah. yeah. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Wow, yeah, I'm going to always remember that now. Okay, you can come wide. Wow, that's w that's wild. <laughs> I, You know, I never noticed that, Steve. <laughs> it's interesting how much uh, life there is right here where there's apparently not much in the water. Yeah. But I suppose that can change. Maybe they ate it all already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do they filter more in this case? Do they which? Are they just like filtering more? Can we get a partial zoom on this fuzzy white one? Yes, we can. Yeah, they just grab floating stuff that's going by and eat that. Okay, Steve, go ahead. Some more Xenophile 4, maybe? Oh, no, that's something on top of a sponge. Okay, different type of sponge here. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, man. We saw that on the last dive, too. Is that something on top, growing on top of a sponge? It's a good question. It looks like what we called a macaroni sponge last year. <laughs> it does look like a macaroni sponge. <laughs> um, you can uh, come back out. Thanks. Okay. Wide. Thanks. What's this little round thing? Another sponge. Yeah, another sponge. Two sponges. What's the one on the left? Yeah, that is... What are they called? Give you a quick Where zoom there, please. It's a type of demo sponge, I believe. Okay, thanks. So for our audience at home, this underwater feature that we're diving on today with ROV Hercules and ROV Atalanta. This is the first time that this seamount uh, feature has been explored with this kind of technology. Um, so you're seeing it for the first time as we are seeing it for the first time. Uh, you know, we've only come up about 20 to 30 meters since that saddle mm -hmm. and uh, already seeing this much variation, this much density of animals. All right, we have some watch name suggestions coming in. Do you guys want to hear some? Oh, Absolutely. No. Oh, sure. <laughs> They're like, uh, give it to us now, please. <laughs> Okay, uh, we have the bamboo chompers. Oh. Okay, we ah. have we have nautical by nature. Oh, we we have the scoop the Scoopy Doos. Scoopy <laughs> like Scoopy Doos. <laughs> uh, they've been watching for a little they while. They have. They have. Um, we have Paragorgias, so like Paragorgia, but Paragorgias. Yeah. Um, the Rock Garden Miners. <laughs> oh, I was just really thinking creative. that we might want to pick up some rocks. <laughs> <laughs> just after it's hard to land, eh? I know, <laughs> I know. Um, well, the good rocks, the yeah, corals like those good rocks too. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to do that soon? Like Perhaps. Right um, now? It looks like Val is tuning in from the lounge, so I'll, I'll let her direct if she okay, thinks this is a good spot to get some rocks. Let me go get a little pennies in the bank here. And okay. 
as we say. Well, looks like maybe a polyopagon sponge here. Those were some great names. We're going to have to. Uh, I know, and we need to vote. Let that sit for a moment. <laughs> Good-looking rocks here. Yeah, I'm ready anytime now. Okay. Um, Do you want to hold ship position? Yeah, can you hold ship's position? Thank you, Lynette. Bridge nav. Can we hold position here, please? All right. Okay. Great. Val's in agreement that trying to get a rock in this area is a, a worthy endeavor. Right. Small, big, angular, rounded. What? Um, can I see our... Mm -hmm. Box availability, please. Yep. Yep. We've got a bigger right. box. We got big ones and small two ones. small ones. Okay. I'd like to save that one for your. I'm wondering if we could do both. Um, let's see. Okay, that's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Should I keep moving along? What do you think? There were a couple just below us. Is there? Is it possible to? It's possible, but it's preferred to keep going. OK, that's fine. Then we will make do. Uh, all right. Um, I wonder if that one is pick upable. Sure, yeah. Kind of a rounded, smoother one. Yeah, that might be a good one for my stuff. But we're also sharing our rocks, so potentially it can be good for other purposes. I'm just trying to be mindful of the time. Yeah. How much we want to pick up. Can I see craft arm, please? Craft arm. Oops. Be just out of reach. Let's see. Of course. There's some other candidates if it yeah. is. I'm not landed, so I can just shimmy forward. Come back. Where are you <laughs> going, ROV? Oh, that was large and far away. That's fine, though. Right? Right. Oh man, as soon as I put it in autos, it flies away from the thing. Very inconvenient. There we go. <laughs> Alright, this time for sure. go. Nice grab. Oh, that's a big one. About 20, 20 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Can we get, um, yeah, we can get some, some turn action shots. Here. Yeah. Stand by. Do you think that needs a big okay, box? Come up on or Delta a little bit, please. I'm coming up. Two. Uh, or a smaller compartment. I'm okay. Go ahead. Zoom Steve by a bit more.
Hmm. Okay, that's cool. Can you pause for just one moment in the rotation? Thank you. I'm going to get a couple shots of that. Thank you. Perfect. Hmm. Can you, uh, that right there. Hey, thank you. I think that's a shot that Val might want to see. Pillow like basalt, maybe? Yeah, it looks yeah. like a pillow. Huh. Trevor, do you think this will fit in one of the smaller starboard mm. bio boxes or one of the big? Big one. Big one? <laughs> that's going to go to Echo. Yeah, I could try. Echo. That'll fit in the small one. Okay, come wide, please. I could try. It doesn't hurt to try. Star or the small one first, because okay. so yeah. that will be alpha then. If you want to try for a smaller alpha or echo, alpha or echo. Okay, stand by on box out. Standing by. Okay, uh, go ahead. All right, bio box out. I think it will not fit. But I keep going. Oh yeah, okay. you're right. Echo, it is. Yeah. Oh that yeah, that's a big one. That's a big hard one. no. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Okay. Echo taken. Nice. Nice. All right. We're gonna get a workout tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. Um, we can go ahead and put in another ship's move. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing two nine zero, please? Thank you. Okay, and front porch again, please. All right. Porch lights on. Oh, uh, porch not light the off, light. but porch bubble. Bubble. Bubble cam. That All right, so I'm gonna sense. come up slope two. I'm increasing delta a bit. Okay. Bubble cam on front porch, please. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, for someone who is just tuning in, they're just wondering where Argus is. Um, well, still here with us on the ship, uh, just before we actually started exploring and got underway, um, decided that there were some uh, thruster situation issues going on with Argus, so we chose to take At Atlanta down. Um, so still here with us, just not diving currently. Some different types of sponges coming up ahead. Yeah. We haven't necessarily seen on this dive yet. Getting the Argus zoom there, Steve. Yep. Ooh, so this is a cool spot. If you want to see Argus, it's coming up on channel three. Oh yeah, there, it's still light outside. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're totally in the wrong time zone. It's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> we're closer to Japan than continental USA. Wow. Yeah. Is that true? Ooh, yep. really? We're, we're Ooh. way out there. We might be closer to Alaska than Hawaii. No. <laughs> but that's, that's I'm not totally sure Speculation. on that one. <laughs> No, like, it's, it's really, really close. I put it up on oh, a map, and I awesome. couldn't do it without measuring. If anybody wants to pull up their own favorite mapping feature... <laughs> You can see our coordinates on nautiluslive.org on the uh, right-hand toolbar right where it's giving some data about ROV Hercules. If you click on more data, it'll bring you to a page that includes all kinds of data that we're streaming um, from the oh. sensors. Oh. So you can look up our coordinates and find out where in the world we are. Really big sponge. Wow. Gigantic. Is that a crab on the base of it? Yeah, there is. Just oh, yeah, a big one hanging out. A couple of crinoids up top crinoids. as well. Crinoids, yeah. Nice. What beautiful. crazy animals these are. These are just beautiful. That's gorgeous.
want to get a little lasers off. Sure. Can you turn the lasers off, please? Ashton? Oh, yep. Lasers. Sorry about that. Ooh. Thank you. Beautiful. If possible, to also see where it's attached in the back. That's sometimes helpful with yeah. uh, identification. That's the biggest sponge I've seen this cruise. Yeah, I think so. Oof, I don't know if I'll have enough jam. Okay. We'll see. Ah, can you turn on porch light, please? Yeah, porch light coming on. Oh my goodness. Asaka making the observation that yesterday the we saw a stolen in, infra on these large sponges and we're not seeing those today. Yeah. There's your base. Yeah, thank you. I'm definitely not stable. You can come wide, please. Thanks. You can see the wiggly crinoid arms. It's mm -hmm. currenty around here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the, um, the what we sampled yesterday was a slightly different type of sponge. I'm not sure. But yeah, we haven't seen any stolen ifra on this dive. Nice purple coral. Looks like folks are saying that we are closer to Alaska. <laughs> wow. Wow. so much better about wearing so many clothes all the time. <laughs> 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 now I have an explanation. That's funny. It didn't get cold for no reason. For sure. Oh yeah, Atalanta's getting bounced around. Mm -hmm. Nope, not sure if it's that either. There's so many different kinds of Ooh, sponges. I'm trying to oh. work my way through this taxonomy guide. I'm not finding it. Oh, yeah, Atalanta is getting bounced around a little bit. And then, like, the ship moved at the same time. I got a little dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. Um, we're always thankful that we have so many deep sea experts that like to tune in. Uh, help us identify some of these organisms. But um, if this is new, new to you and you'd like to learn about some of these organisms, there's some really great animal guides available from the oceanexplorer.noaa.gov website. Some of their data products, they put out a benthic animal guide with lots of photographs that have been collected on cruises just like this. And that's what we're using as our reference to figure out what we're looking at. So that's, again, at oceanexplorer.noaa.gov. And Ocean Explorer is a, one of the funders of these expeditions. They have a mission to understand what's on the seafloor. We can get those lasers back. Lasers oh, coming back. And we just passed the two kilometer water threshold here as we're climbing up. Ooh. So about 6,000 feet for folks that think in those units. So a little more than a mile deep. Uh oh, we're deeper than that again. Oh, thanks. Yeah, oh, we're no. so sunk down. <laughs> and we're almost back. <laughs> yeah, so we're definitely swung wide of stern now yeah, from compared say. to where we were when you look at high pack okay we'll keep inching up the slope here yeah you're doing a great job thanks okay. Lynette. yep mm -hmm. bridge nav can we move five zero meters bearing three one zero please Thank you. You can definitely see this is the top of the ridge here. If I look straight up the hill, then it's it falls off on both sides just mm -hmm. a little bit. 
Yeah. And the water quality has gotten more turbid again. We can start mm -hmm. to see the laser lines. Yep. I cannot believe that I never noticed that, Steve. <laughs> I just, that's blowing my mind a little bit. Now it's all we're going to think about, Steve. It's, can uh, we see the lines? Can we not see the lines? It's a good observational tool. Absolutely, yeah. And it's not necessarily these bigger par Whoa, particles. Look at the hold fast on that thing. I know. Huge. Yeah, it is. What is? I guess if you're going to be up there in the current like that. Yeah. The hold fast that light on that heavy oh, corral. Oh, yeah. Can I please get a DVL reset? I'll hold still for a sec. You can. Beth, can you repeat really quickly where to find that lat long? Um, people are saying that they get the custom Grafana screen, Thank but they you. don't see lat long when they click on more data. Uh, yeah, w I may be seeing something slightly different than everybody else, so let yep. me just check. Um. If the high pack screen is up, they can see it there too. Oh, oh yeah, that's good point. Good. Thank you so much. On Lynette. channel three. Yep. Oh, yeah. Lower left in the quad view. Yep. Uh, if you go back up, click on more data. I don't know why your computer is so much faster than mine, Annabelle. <laughs> yeah, and it would be up at the top. Quick here. Stats. Okay, go down. That was me. Oh yeah, you're right. Where is the let lawn on that? It's in the top left. Yeah. No? Top left of high the pack? panel? Oh, oh yeah, 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 high pack, yeah. We're uh, looking at Grafana. Uh, right yeah. That. I'm realizing that the Grafana view <laughs> from Nautilus Live is a little bit different than what we see here on mm -hmm. the ship. So um, in the meantime, guys, definitely check out high pack. It's up right now on the satellite feed three. Um, and you were saying top left? Steve, yep. Say? Top left. Just under oh. time. Yep. Top left shows Here. lat long of Nautilus. If you look down to the bottom a little bit, you'll see a very slightly different lat long for Hercules and it says Argus, but it's really Atalanta. Yeah. That was a good catch. Thanks, Lynette. Yeah. Yeah, and sorry that I led our audience astray. I thought you could see that too, but I guess what we're... Yeah. Interesting that you can't. Like, every everything else is there. But yeah. <laughs> like, everything, every other number imaginable is there. <laughs> Ooh, there's a uh, fish um, just below. It's those, our favorite. I forget what they're called right now. Below. Yep. Right cool. there. Oh, pink. yeah, nice. Uh -huh. Good eye. Good bird. Uh, what do we call these again? Chonoclops? Yes. Oh. <gasps> Where is Chonoclops? There it is. Zoom ahead. in at your leisure, please. Can you circle for the people, Beth? This is Chonoclops. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're seeing it from the backside. It has got the most adorable face. It's a type of uh, angler fish, right? Correct. Yes. That's the word oh, I was is that the for. green it's stuff? Yeah, it is. It's got a little tiny nubbin at the top of its head, like anglerfish. So, unfortunately, that's the best view we're going to get here. Yeah. It's nice to see one. Yeah. Uh, there's some great okay, video wide, please. of Chana Cops that was collected on our previous expedition up in the monument, Expedition NA 134. Luaea Ahiki'i Kapapaku. Um, and if you go to the videos that are linked on the expedition page, you can see a really lovely little video vignette of Chana Cops. Is porch light on? Yep. Let me see. Yes. Chana Cops. Interesting. You can turn it off. Yes, I can. Thank you. For inter anybody interested in how you spell Chana Cops, <laughs> C H A U N A C O P S. Chana Cops. Chana Cops.
Good eye, Steven. How are we doing on our ship's move, Lynette? Uh, we have about 23 meters left okay. to go. Yep, great. Oh, double sunset. Sunset in stereo. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Steven, you got to put one of those on channel three. Nice. Wow, oh, oh, gorgeous. Yeah, this is a great way to be coming towards the end of our shift, watching the sunset from inside the van. <laughs> <laughs> that camera is probably about 35 feet away from us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling like, that warm sunset glow. <laughs> I if I cross it. my eyes just right, it becomes 3D. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to think about how I'm closer to Alaska than Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Ten miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stop and smell the corals. Bridge nav. <laughs> or maybe don't. They smell terrible. Oh yeah. <laughs> five oh wait, zero that was punches. Bearing three one zero, please. Thank you. So it looks like topography is kind of flattening out a little bit. Mm -hmm. a little we kind of came max. up the, the steepest part. Now it's a gentle grade. Yeah, look at the Atalanta sonar. You can't see much for quite a ways. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little murky. Yeah, definitely murky here. Um, What's that floating? Hello, floating thing. Hello, floating. Tina yeah, it looks like yeah. a uniform sparkling. It's coming at me. Uh, uh, it's stop. coming right at you. Hey, give me space. <sighs> That's a good view. That's a really great view. Can yeah. we get the uh, so lasers sparkly. off, Steven? Yeah, let me kill those. Or Ashton. Yeah, thank you. And maybe porch light on? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, let's try it out. Wow, Better that's versus. beautiful. Yes, no? I yeah. Don't know. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we can see the structure better with the porch light on. Okay. It's almost glimmery. Oh, that's yeah. exciting. Nice. Oh, 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 hey oh, 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 right hey there. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> wow. For anybody, that's a really beautiful Tina Four. Amazing. Oh, gorgeous. Please don't go in the thrusters. Please don't go. <laughs> oh, um, for anybody interested in how to spell Tina Four, it's spelled with a silent C. Excuse C me? T E N O P H O R E. Yep.
Yeah, I think that's about as close as you can come to like what, to what yeah. I think an alien looks <laughs> exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. It's awesome. Can we lose porch light? Uh, sir. Yeah, we can I bring can the lasers, lasers back on, on to you. There's a joke I heard a while back, which I'm probably not going to do justice. I can't really remember it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Great Go setup. for it. Go that for it anyway. Uh, yeah. Why couldn't the Tina 4 hear anything? Because the sea, sea is, is silent. silent. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's a good one. It works for one. me. <laughs> it's a good way to remember how to spell Tina 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this isn't the way I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> So it starts. So can you remember how to spell it? C T. Then what? E N. Not <laughs> in unison. Go e ahead, Sheldon. <laughs> Go for it. C T E N P H O R E S. Did we skip a vowel? Yeah, we skipped an vowel. Oh, did we skip? <laughs> <laughs> C T E N. Back check me. O P H O R E. Cool. T N O four. You got the silent C. That's what counts. That's what really counts. <laughs> And I spelled it right yeah. in my highlight. <laughs> <laughs> mm. the, the, these bamboo, sp yeah, oh, bamboo right. stalks. Yeah, bamboo look interesting from this perspective. Yeah. Mm hmm You can come down in Delta. Yeah. You are. Come you already down. are. <laughs> We're going down a little slopey here. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one thruster. <laughs> Not that I think that matters, actually. <laughs> Doing okay. Hmm. It's like a whole field of bamboo coral. Okay, Val, rubbing it in what the sunset looks like <laughs> in our scientist ashore portal. I like it. But she's oh, not that's ashore. A nice shot. It's a great shot. That's a great shot. She's a lounge. Scientist a lounge. Scientist a lounge. <laughs> a lounge. <laughs> <laughs> that took a sec to understand what you were saying. <laughs> Oh, someone's in our sunset view. <laughs> Looks like Paul. <laughs> Majestic. Oh, so she put, okay. There's a photo in the science chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where the, is that where the pup date came from as well? That was where yeah, the pup, where pup, pup date came <laughs> from. Oh. Man, I really want to see another ton of cops. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm hopeful. It's a very different shade of red. Well, and they're kind of translucent. Yeah, like it exactly. It looks like you can see through their skin. Ooh. Is that another odd rock there in the lower right? Oh, odd I see rock. it just going out of screen, coming mm -hmm. back. I'm not sure what that is. <coughs> Good eye. I'm going to... Oh, there's two in of the them. Middle. Zoom in, please. I don't. There's also the one just top right of the screen right now, yeah, too. Yeah, little one. Oh. And one top left, actually. Makes me think they're less likely to be ballast trucks if they're. Yeah, yeah. No, I definitely I took back that it was not ballast. It was way too late to be ballast. <laughs> that would be a waste of time. Um, yeah. Don't know what it is or where it came from. One of these things is not like the other. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Sorry, you can. Un unsay. Except I was going to sing it. No. I don't think our audience really <laughs> needs to hear that, though. <laughs> All right, thank you, Steve. Somebody said that uh, the December cruise that was in the monument, there were just Chana cops everywhere. There were. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah uh, the shift I was on that was one of our team name options. 
And what oh, do we, we thought it was originally called Tronoclops, <laughs> which we like, what? That's amazing. So our team name was going to be Tronoclops, but we, we, we didn't end up picking that. What did you Thank pick goodness. instead? We, uh, we never settled on a final name. Oh. <laughs> That's what we should shoot for in this watch. Never quite deciding. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, somebody said that they crochet. They can crochet a Chana Cops if anybody wants one. They have an empty I page. Want one. Oh, that's what? gotta be Megan. That's they gotta say, be Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Megan? <laughs> they say you can have a Chana Cops of your very own. I crochet these and other sea critters. <laughs> and wow. there's an Etsy link. <laughs> that's really neat. <laughs> wow. And right, Megan on the last cruise crocheted a bunch and taught a bunch of people to crochet. Fluffy pink. Oh, I didn't even know Megan crocheted. A uh, different Megan. Oh, okay. I was like, she didn't tell me that. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready for another move? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Bridge I thought you were going to tell us a joke. Can we move five zero meters bearing three two zero? Zoom on this guy, please, Steve. Thank you. What are we looking at? Which one? More chomper. Oh, yeah. Mm. Love the chomping oh, sea man. stars. Man, they are vicious. They're like all over these. The they hungries, are. Hungry, hungry, hungry sea stars. <laughs> How about that for a name? No, hungry sea stars. Yeah. Hungry, hungry. <laughs> hungry, hungry. Like the game? Yes. Hungry, hungry hippos, but hungry, hungry sea stars. The coral eaters. They're chunky like hippos. <laughs> <laughs> they look like happy sea stars. <laughs> well fed. A little spot missing in kind of the middle there, too. I wonder yeah. what that's all about. Hmm. Could have been predated there too. That was the appetizer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Steve. Another sea star up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're everywhere. I keep forgetting this is like a Mac with a. <laughs> What's this thing here? Bottom left purple. It might be another one of those Victor Gorgia that we oh, saw. Oh, it could be, yep. There's two of them. Yeah. Can you zoom in on the potential Victor Gorgia? Shoot for the top one. Okay, quickly for the folks watching and everybody who now wants a crocheted Chana Cop, <laughs> Chana Cups. Um, that page is called Ab Fab De Art. So it's A B F A B D E A R T E. So go ahead and support and get your crocheted Chana Cops. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> My untrained eye suggests that is a Victor Gorgia. They're all helping show us which direction the current's going. Very yeah, much so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's very helpful. Yeah. No doubt about it. Lasers are gone again. Water's Whoop. clear. Oh. I mean, the dot, you know, yeah. I gotcha. They're hard to find sometimes when uh, the, the beams are gone. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I have trouble with that. Although they're probably always... at a similar place in the frame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I suppose it depends on, does it de depends on the tilt and how far away we are from the surface. It shouldn't depend mm -hmm. on the tilt. Surface. They're connected to the tilt. But, yeah, you're right. But it depends on zoom as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. You can always zoom past the lasers. That was a good roll. Mm -hmm. Someone's wondering the difference between sea stars and starfish. There is none, right? It's the same thing, pretty much? Same thing. Just different common names used in different parts of the world, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
I think they're transitioning away from starfish because star sea star is not a fish. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Same with jellies. Who's that red? Cup coral? Yeah, or a uh, mushroom? Probably. Mushroom? Yeah, I think it's a mushroom coral. Can we zoom on the red thing, please? Yeah. Cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think I've ever really stared at them until now. How mm -hmm. cute. They look like Pulls those up. toys that when you yes. squeeze oh, on them. Get out of my head, Beth. <laughs> 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 oh. No, Shelby, I like it here. I was literally like, why does it look like that toy? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think Chris Kelly needs some uh, coral dog toys for Katie. Oh. I just heard squeaking in my head. I was like, that's about this. Yeah. <laughs> As if puppy breath wasn't bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not real coral. A little shrimp there. Shrimpy shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly the sound their legs make. <laughs> Reminds me of my neighbor's dog the other day, a couple weeks ago, ran up to me with a deer leg in its mouth. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Too soon. I don't know. Well, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> we go from cute puppy to, like, pure just viciousness with a leg in its mouth. <laughs> my dog would not do that. <laughs> Zero percent chance. <laughs> Got some black corals here and crinoids. Bottle brush uh, corals. I guess I can point at these things if people want to know. Uh, bottle brush. Oh, yeah. The yellow ones are crinoids. These are black corals up here. Ten more minutes on our watch. Fish. One. And there's maybe another two hours or so of uh, tonight's dive before we start recovering. Uh, we think we'll, so we'll be up on deck around midnight Hawaii time. Uh, when about a little over four hours from now. And then our next dive will probably be about 16 hours after that. So. About 20 hours from now. Bridge nav. Can we move another five zero meters bearing three two zero, please? Thank you. Look at those crinoids. Mm-hmm. Definitely seem to have left the Walteria sponges behind. Mm. There's another eel with its yeah, head in the rocks. Swimming into the rocks again, yeah. I'm missing that. Where is that? Yeah, same. It's gone now. Okay. Oh. Darn. Hiding. There's just so much to look at. I know. It's incredibly dense with life. There's Would there's this be a place to do an ED day? Uh, maybe. It'd be a place to do a Where's Waldo, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, we we'll mostly just have these bamboo corals. I'd like to have a little bit higher density for that. Is that a uh, really diversity. small sea star climbing a coral right there by the lasers? Oh, it could be, yeah. Mm, something. You could do oh a snap yeah. zoom there. Yep. I'd say it is. Oh yeah. Another yeah. one strikes again. Yeah, good eye. Good eye. I also have the best monitors in the van over here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sunset. Don't Ooh. give away the secret. Yeah. I know. No bamboo coral is safe down here. <laughs> I think our watch name might need to have sea star in it. Last watch, we were just looking for the white sea star, and now I know. Just seeing these sea That's stars. a good connection. You might be right, Annabelle. Yeah. Do we have a pen up here anywhere? No, nope, don't worry about it. Take a note on my device. I 
do have a pen up here. It's okay. It. okay. Don't worry about it. No need to come back here just for that. Someone's wondering, is this the first expedition that um, we've been able to draw on the screen with, can you remind me of this? Telestrator. Telestrator. Yes, is, is that, <coughs> has been on for a while or is this sort of the first time? It's we uh, we had it on NA-134. I'm not sure when it first came into being. Yeah, I think it was the start of last year. Yeah, I think some scientists just use it more than others. Mm. It's a fantastic tool. We it used is. to have the stick of pointing, which was a plastic stick <laughs> with a little hose. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it not still around? Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's still. It's over here. It's the backup Telestrator. Yeah. But uh, that was like another good tool for... That's amazing. I mean, you say zoom in on that red thing, and it's like, what red thing? There's so <laughs> many red things, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let me point this stick at these very expensive <laughs> TV models. Well, exactly, right? Exactly. Especially with the rocks. <laughs> with a bunch of people sitting around. And <laughs> yeah, the rock looks out. like a cloud. Oh, the one that looks like Mississippi? <laughs> no, the one that looks like it looks Alabama. Like a <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> little fish on the right. Tiny oh, little tiny fish. little fish. But yeah, the uh, Telestrator has all kinds of features. So you can draw. You can put in a circle. Ooh. Oh. Um, apparently, I can keep add going, a Beth. Blow fish. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Trevor was like, "Oh, she's getting to the cool stuff. Keep going." <laughs> uh huh. There's a counter. I don't know why you would want that. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, that's oh. good. We've done that for push cores. If you want to take five oh. push cores in one spot, you do one, two, three, four, five. Hey, is that one of the uh, fishes there? Yes, yes it right. is. Good, fine. What an end. Okay. Boom. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Oh, Wait, yeah. is this the Chana Cops this again? This is the yes. Chana Cops. Yeah, I was trying to remember. <laughs> Face on. All right, zoom in, please. All right, let's get those lasers off. So yeah, yeah, yeah lasers off. off. Right. Oh, those yeah. Lasers. Oh, his little feet. Beth, you oh, got look your at wish. Look that little guy. Oh. Hi. Oh. You got your wish, Beth. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. One more time to cost for the road. They are oh, just come back, adorable. Come back. Look at him. He's so placid. <laughs> this is such a better view, too. So grumpy. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> grumpy fish. <laughs> if it takes off, you'll get to see its, its knees in action. Oh, wow. Uh, no. <laughs> no. All right, come on, please. Right definitely would not make it through there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, you'll start to hear a little bit of commotion. We are switching out watches again, um, going to the 8 to 12 folks. So just bear with us for a second. Hello. Thanks for nice to watch, everyone. Hello, gorgeous.
Can I uh, grab bubble? Check gauges. Check, check, check. Hello, I'm clear. Can you hear me, Paul? Right. Yep. Okay. Hey, everyone. Is 8 to 12 all in their seats? Hello, hello. Until the blue light flashes. Yeah, we're here. All right. Uh, where are we, Katachi? Heading towards four, correct? Or is the ship not moving? Ship's moving, or was moving. You're blinking, okay. Dan. You're blinking on the blue. Okay. Thank you. I believe the ship isn't moving. And must have stopped it up for shift change there. Would you like to proceed to waypoint four? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, they've already looked around this area pretty well, I think. Okay. Bridge, this is Nav. Oh, why has he got that so fast? That's crazy. Uh, can we get a move of 100 meters at heading 320? Still feeling a pretty good current, Thank huh? Thank you. Yeah. Turbo Lakes is sonar like on light speed. <laughs> it's making me dizzy looking at it. Got some tunes on here. What's that? <laughs> well, I don't know. I just okay, hear music. Sorry. <laughs> what are we doing? All right. So we are checking stuff out, you know? Uh, rocks, animals, anything unusual? Down five, Paul. Copy that. Oh, that's still spicy up. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice view. it up more or? that's some interesting geology there it sort of yeah comes like exclusively uh -oh. bamboo corals up on that ledge thing there Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I was following your heading around. Let's take a look at this I'll coral. Back on. Can do. Zoom in a bit there, Jeff. Lasers are off, by the way. This looks like another Acanthagorgia. We've been seeing quite a few of these, although not as much as yesterday's dive. It's that little pink thing in the middle. Hard to see. Swim in some more? Sure, yeah, let's take a look. It's like something tightly wound around a branch. Oh, yeah. Huh. huh. Can't tell. Zoom in a bit more if you want. Yeah, we can go full zoom. See if we can figure That's this out. That's it. I'll get, it. I'll, I'll get closer. Hold on. Huh. Some remnant of a brittle star. Yeah, it looks like a brittle star just very yeah. tightly curled up, maybe. Huh. Wow. Yes. Oh, you can't log in either. Oh, jeepers. Uh, Justin. Are you guys... Who's in C, Who's logged into C-Log? Anybody? Katachi, are you? Okay, I'm going to come... Uh, Let's... Um, I'll call the data lab. I'm going to come okay. back to the north here, but... I'm, I'm logged in. Oh, oh, you are? Okay. Uh, that's encouraging. We should be on about, uh, if you put your heading at 340, Paul, I think that's the ship's uh, course over ground. 320. 320. 320. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, 320. I'll try and uh, stay in the Atlanta view. Yeah. Coming up just a little bit. Go ahead, bit. Bridge. Yeah, right. Thank you. Nice little hail here. Go up this way. I'm on the chat. Pink coral there is a hemicorallium. I'm seeing some more of that as the dive progresses. Justin's taking a look at it, and he said he'd call us back. So I guess let's just make our observations in the chat log for now. A lot of corals here. Yeah. It's going to jump off the ledge here and look back across.
So, Milani, should we welcome everybody to the watch? Yes, let's do this. So, as per usual, we will all introduce our names, our um, title, and then rather than where we're from, let's share our favorite ice cream flavor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, um, I'll start us off. Oh, and then I'll give the Hawaiian um, translation to your title also. My name is Malanai Kane Kuahivi Nui. I am a science communication fellow or Kumu Ike slash Mea Ha'i Mo'olelo. My favorite ice cream flavor is um, mint chocolate chip. Ooh. I'm sending it to Ryan. <laughs> hey, so, um, I'm Ryan Gasparo. I'm a graduate student at Temple University um, and salted caramel. Dwight? Yeah, go ahead, Justin. Just one second, guys. Sure. Just going to zoom in there for a minute, a little bit. Hey, everyone. I'm Dwight Coleman. I'm the watch leader. I'm a marine geologist from the uh, University of Rhode Island Graduate School of Oceanography. And I'm also the expedition leader on this leg. And uh, my favorite ice cream is coffee Heath Bar Crunch. Whoa. Push it a bit more if you want to. There. You would be the alaka. You are the alakai and a kanaka epikema and akiakamai, and Ryan is a kanaka epikema slash akiakamai. Thank you guys, Fiona. Hi. Or maybe, oh, what are we looking at? Real quick? Yeah, yeah, first. Uh, this, this is a heavy corral right coral, there. but we have a few pretty well hidden squat lobsters. What it looks oh, like yeah. hanging out in there, like the really sink. blending into the pink. Mm -hmm. And a white one not blending in as well. <laughs> Can't quite hold still in the breeze there. Don't have a good enough perch. That's a good look. Thanks. Is that white colored one just a different species or a juvenile? Yeah, or? I think yeah. so different species and there's brittle star on the other side of the wow. oh, you see there. brittle stars this is a really pretty view we have here too yeah alrighty Fiona take it away Hello, everybody. I'm Fiona David. I'm the ocean science intern um, on this trip. And my favorite ice cream is mint chocolate chip. Oh, yeah. Too you know, Mel and I, I've been told that people who like mint chocolate chip like to eat toothpaste. Is that true? <laughs> is no. that true? Oh, my God. I do not like to eat toothpaste. I'm not one of those people. Me, neither <laughs> am I. How about mint Oreo cookie? That's, that's another Oh, one. mint Oreo cookie. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, Fiona is a haumana slash hu'eao. She is training to be a kanaka epikema and akiakamai. Mahalo, Fiona. Um, sending it to the front row. Yeah, I can go for it. My name is Paul, and I'm an ROV pilot for uh, Atalanta. Um, and my favorite ice cream flavor would probably be a tie between salted caramel and coffee, but those are both already taken, so I'm going <laughs> to go with uh, cookie dough. Ooh. That's a good one. Cookie dough. Um, thank you, Paul. You are a Pailaka Mokulu'u slash Mokulu'u Kia Awaya. Thanks, Paul. I'm Dan. I'm sitting, operating the Hercules vehicle tonight. And my, it's really mean to talk about ice cream, by the way, because we <laughs> usually get it every Sunday on the boat. Our current vendor has let us down for some reason. But my favorite ice cream is Rocky Road. Mm. Seriously, Jones in for Rocky Road. Oh. I'm so, uh, <laughs> does that mean that we're not going to get any ice cream for the rest of uh, this cruise? No, Cisco uh, doesn't do ice cream. I think it's a Hawaii ice oh. cream mafia thing. I don't know. I'm going to push in there on this guy, Jeff. So. See if I can 
Hi everyone, my name is Katachi. I'm the navigator, and Thank my favorite right ice cream flavor is coconut. Mm. Thank you, Kotachi. You are the uh, you are a ho'okelen as a navigator, and then Dan is a um, pailaka mokulu'u slash mokulu'u kia'awaya. Thank you. And then our amazing cameraman, who is the Kanaka Pa'i Vikio. Hmm. Give it up on that one, Dan. Yeah, I can't hold it. It's okay. Breeze here, I can't get a good perch. I just like the way it was waving in the breeze. Yeah, it's cool. All right, so I'm Jeff, the video guy. Um, and all these ice cream flavors. I actually like a really, really well done vanilla ice cream. Mm. Except in springtime when we get certain strawberries in Oregon, when oh, I really, yeah. really, really, really like strawberry ice cream. Or if I'm. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's a place in Portland called Salt and Straw that has the most amazing ice cream. And whatever their special is, it could be, you know, balsamic vinegar and ground up sea star, and it will still be amazing. So uh, I always have to try whatever their special flavor is. If you ever get a chance in Portland, try Salt and Straw. Whoa, thank you. So our faithful scientist ashore, who uh, is usually present on our watch, is Asako Matsumoto, and she also favors mint chocolate chip. So I think that's the winner. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Come down, uh, five, Paul. Copy that. Can you speak a little bit about how there's like this whole wall, sort of, of this same similar-looking coral? Yeah, so these are all Acanthagorgia, and it, it looks like they just have found a nice perch here up on these boulders um, that sort of elevates them um, into the current a little bit, and so a bunch of them just found a nice place to be. Um, the pink coral we're seeing there is Hemicorallium. You'll we'll probably see a bunch of that throughout today's dive. Can we actually get a zoom on this, what I think is a sponge down here? Sure. Go ahead, Jeff. Seeing a lot of these sort of hairy sponges, glass sponges. There's a branched version and an unbranched version. Seeing less of the branched ones, so this is interesting to see. There's a couple squat lobsters on it as well. Cool, thank you. Okay. Good. These guys are hiding. Uh Chest that rock is prominent there, just on the ridge. You want to push in just a bit? Huh? Let's see if we get a. Yeah, oh, yeah, right that's a nice shot. Yeah. And Asako in the chat just noted that we collected one of those sponges we just zoomed in on earlier today. Oh, so uh, nice. Cool. Hopefully, we'll get some better identification from it from that. This guy, yeah. Do we uh, still have any samples that we're particularly looking for for the rest of this dive? We have a whole wish list back here. Um, but as far as I've been watching today, um, I haven't been seeing many of the things on the wish list. So I've got a, my eyes peeled for a bunch of different corals and sponges and other things that we're trying to get a better ID on. Awesome. And we've uh, got got room in the boxes. Um. Yes, we do. Starboard box A and B, forward box B for Beth, and a few E, D, and A. Maybe three more left. Nice. Actually, this might be a good place for E, D, and A around this coral garden. Oh, definitely. How many? Uh, we got three more, but then one's for background. Yeah. So let's um. We can get one here, I think, because we're at the crest of this knoll, and uh, yeah, we're down downwind a bit too. Yeah. Yeah, you want to pull one, Paul? Yep. So we take these eDNA samples to get a 
the collection of water and then filter that water out and identify all the DNA that's sort of sloughed off of the different organisms. Did they fix the sea log yet? Uh, I haven't tested yet. yet. Oh. I don't think so. Justin said he'd call me back. Okay. Can you uh, get George to hold position? Bridge, this is Nev. Please hold position. Are you uh, ready for craft? Yep. I wrote EDNA quickly and it's Edna. Can we call it Edna? <laughs> I think I'm racked back because my. Was it Eric Beck? Nor was I. Do we uh, know which one we're going for here? Uh, four. And four I is think it's orange. A, I think it's orange. Yeah. Yep. Come back down into the yeah. breeze here for you. Okay. What coral species are present in this area, Ryan? Really high density of acanthagorgia. Acanthagorgia. The yellow corals, um, bamboo corals as well, mm -hmm. whip-like bamboo corals, you could write. Um, we ready? And then hemichorallium as well. Hemichorallium. Sorry, can you repeat that, right. please? Uh, uh, copy that, George. We ready for the sample? Yep, pull it. I think I saw it go, right? Bridge, yeah. can you repeat that, please? So, uh, back row, the, sounds like the ship's taking a bit of a holiday, so we might have to come up bottom there. Oh, that's the first I've seen in a while. Yeah, do what you need to do, of course. Yeah, Roger. Well, uh, we'll run with him. He's, I'm keeping a close eye on the speed here. It looks like it's... This might have to move a little faster. Obviously, we can't stop. <laughs> All right. Was it, was it just a little anomaly and we're back in business? No, it looks like he's uh, drifting off to the east there. Oh, yeah, I see that. Oh. It's just, uh, he's drifting about 0.2 to the east there. Just past a couple of Paragorgia or bubblegum corals as well. Look down, Paul. Yep. Here's a question from the crowd um, tuning in live. How does the coral stick to the rock? Does it suction itself? Yeah, so they cement themselves to the rock, actually. So they sort of have a biological cement. They basically glue themselves down. Awesome. There are some sponges that actually are literally just gripping um, onto the rock, and some other sponges cement themselves. Very cool. Thank you. This lighting is so on point. I'm about it. That's nice. This is bubblegum. Yeah, that's Paragorgia. All 
Are we able to get a zoom here? Or are we? Sure. Where do you want to zoom up? This Can't do. Um, yeah, sort of branch thing too. down there. Not sure we've seen much of that. Huh. Sorry, I wasn't sure which one you wanted to see. On the right side, the more white. Just sticking out on the right side there. Still not sure right over to here. The, yeah. All right. Push in a bit more if you want, Jeff. Huh. Looks like maybe a small bamboo coral. Hard to see if there's banding in the skeleton. Oh, that's great. Katachi, could you zoom out on the high pack screen so I can see where the next waypoint is after? Maybe a plexorid? I'm not too sure. OK, how far away is that from where we are? Sako in the chat is saying it's a primnoid. Uh, it's about 300 meters. 300 meters, OK. And what's from, uh, from that, what's the south is all uh, downhill, right? <laughs> downhill yeah, slightly. heading uphill, right? right? Mm. He's uh, if the ship can do it, what, it, it looks like he's spinning around a little, huh? No, uh, right now he's uh, right now he's doing about three quarters of a knot to the south, so uh, momentarily Argus will be doing the same, <laughs> hasn't uh, affected us yet. But what it is, will. What is that dark brown thing that was at the center bottom? Did you see that? Yeah, that looked like one of those mushroom corals, but it had a darker color. Interesting. There. Could we take a look here, too? Sure. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I lost the pot there. I looked away. Can I circle it again, please? Sure. Oh, yeah. A little different color mushroom coral than too. what we've been seeing. Paul, did you take that water sample earlier? Whoa. Yeah, I did. That's pretty well. Wow. You know what that is? Yeah, that's a uh, anthomastidae mushroom coral. Yeah, anthomastidae mushroom coral. That's in here. So this brings up a good question of: Have we stumped Ryan yet? <laughs> <laughs> not, not it's hard to know because he could just be <laughs> fooling us, and we wouldn't know better. <laughs> <laughs> That's the yeah. nice thing about being on a geology cruise. <laughs> so, have you checked in them with the bridge, Katachi? Should we give them a call, or uh, he'll he'll call us back when he's got okay. it under control. Okay. He he doesn't yet. He's now up to one knot. So. No control. We're live boating, guys. We're live boating to the south at one knot. Roger. So all the brown matter at the floor, the very bottom, those would be like dead corals? Yeah, and we're seeing a lot of dead sponge skeleton today. Um, so either things falling down from upslope or just old coral or sponge skeleton sitting on the bottom here. And those are the ones that kind of look like a elongated, woven sort of a cup, right? Bring your yeah, there's a the little pole. Yeah. There how would go. you describe that? What does that look like to you? Or how is it described in? So they're a glass sponge. Um, so their skeleton is made of um, I can't hear silica. What? Um, and they, yeah, they have a very elongated I, sort of body shape. I can't hear you at all. Body shape. Talk on SPL, maybe. Um, do you want this at 20? 
meters? Uh, no, I zoomed out just to keep an eye on the boat. So. Looks like he's got it stopped up. Good job, George. I threw out the sea anchor. <laughs> <laughs> George doesn't tell us that the <laughs> <laughs> George's anchor is just Argus. Argus is on deck. <laughs> <laughs> Come down uh, five pump. Raj. I think we're gonna start going downhill here. Hey, George, I'll go southwest, you go northeast, and we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> Roger. Yeah, no worries. We're good here. He went the right way downhill. Dwight, do you want to proceed to waypoint four? Yeah. yeah, that that would be great, Katachi. If uh, when the ship's ready, uh, we'll start working our way there. It would be great. Bur Bridge, this is Nav. Is the ship ready to move? Okay. Let's try uh, 80 meters at heading zero. So just FYI, <clears throat> on that move, the, the ship basically moved 100 meters um, southwest, right? But if you notice, Argus hasn't moved at all yet. So at this step, it's, you know, it takes five or 10 minutes before Argus really starts. So it's, Argus just started moving. So it's probably moved, uh, what, from where it started to where it is now, it moved. You know, roughly 20 meters or so. So it's going to continue to swing that way. So as he moves that way, we're going to kind of do this. A bit of a delay. So there's two options there. We can just go for it and see what happens. Or we could have wait until Argus swings in and then move the boat. Would be more of a controlled fashion. I'm, ha I'm happy time. to just go for it. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, see. See what. See what happens. You come up a bit there, Paul. I'll try and get uphill of you again. Copy that. I can also angle down a little bit more. Yeah, Raj. Yeah, I'm trying to stay under you just to uh, act as your feeler gauge there. We can get away with that in this current. Don't have to worry about tether too much. Let's 
see if you can uh, if you come clockwise is that going to take my tether turn out or make it worse i could never figure that out looks better i do Are we still in the monument or outside, perhaps? We, we're outside. We're well north of the monument boundary. Thank you. And we'll stay outside tomorrow as well. And then I think Saturday we'll head back towards the monument. Mahalo. And I think the weather will be improved by then. It's still a little windy down there today, mm. or a lot windy. I think I saw up to 40 knot winds on our original dive site. Roll. Yeah, way down at King George, yeah. Looks like the ship's moving in the right direction at least, right? Yeah, we're probably going to meet there oh, in the middle. Jellyfish. Look up a bit, Paul. Copy that. Did we put a twist in the cable? No. <laughs> It'll unravel. Ah, uh, we're about the avatar and we're good. Six eight can take it, it's a tether that I right. gets uh complicated. I was happy going south actually, because that's up the hill. Uh -huh. Like if you wanted to climb directly up the hill in the short term, it would be this way. Yeah, it should be pretty gentle down to this next waypoint. It might be kind of flat, actually, uh, once we cross this next little slope. But um, I just calculated that it's going to take us about two hours and 15 minutes to ascend at 15 meters a minute. So um, I think when we get to that next waypoint or around that next waypoint, we'll look for our last couple samples. All right. Kind of a large dead sponge over here to the right. <coughs> yeah. Push in a bit there if you want. Yeah. So even after these organisms are long dead, they serve as habitat for other things, mm -hmm. like corals and brittle stars. Any clue what it might be? It looks like it, it's a glass sponge mm. of some sort. I'm not able to get it any further identified than that. Might have been a Timo sponge, actually. I'm not sure. How long does it take for them to uh, break down? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know if they do break down. <laughs> There's a part of me that feels like they sort of uh, accumulate a lot of sediment and then just serve as homes for other organisms. Yeah, yeah. a lot of what look like zooanthids zoo growing on the top of it there, those white what was that? polyps. Down five, please. Copy that. Yeah, some of the like skeletons we saw yesterday looked like they were pretty old. Oh, those are actually could you zoom in on those things on the edge of the sponge? Yeah, could we look over here? Sure. These are stoloniferans, we think, actually. So a type of octocoral. So Is we hadn't Max seen Zoom? these up until this point on this dive. Yeah. Um, while we saw a lot of purple stoloniferans yesterday on the dive. And we even got a sample of the purple morph yesterday, or the purple species. According to Asako, this is the first observation on this dive for this species. Yeah. Interesting. Getting a close <laughs> look. Jeff could focus it if you stop moving. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I know. Tough current still, right? Yeah. Bad piloting. One right there. There's a squat lobster on there and a gastropod snail. That looks like the mushroom coral that we just saw, but pink. Yeah, so they're both octocorals. Octocorals. Mm -hmm. They're both in the same group of corals. And you can tell an octocoral because they have eight tentacles around their mm. center of disc on each polyp. I, that's probably where the octa comes from. That's it. Yep. Octocoral. So cool. But you've never seen this before, or you have? Um, we haven't seen it yet today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw this yesterday. Can we get a zoom in on that lobster? He seems very photogenic right now. He's running away from us. Oh. He, he apparently oh does no. not want to be Mark <laughs> photographed today. Camera shy. Do we know why there is such bright colors in some of the deep sea life versus just white, like the squat lobsters? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, because it's so dark Don't down do here, it. there's really not a great biological oh, reason. So I it. It. in a lot of cases, It'll it might just off. be um, a sort of leftover from other biological processes. So they just have He's pigments in their um, tissues. Um, for other reasons, rather than a visual thing. Mm. You're good, Paul. You're 18 up. You but a lot of organisms are want. like this what? very you bright could red. tilt up your camera a little bit. Uh, I'm kind of just uh, fades yeah. to black when is I Is that full zoom? Is it there, Jeff? Is there like an evolutionary reason for so many different organisms to all be red? Well, red light attenuates much faster than any other color, so... Um, it actually makes you harder to see, to be red in the deep sea. But again, it, for a okay. lot of things, it might just be a sort of leftover of other biological right. reasons. Like there was no other cost for it. Yeah, right. exactly. But none of these corals or sponges really have natural predators, right? Or do they? Um, these bamboo corals, we've actually seen today quite a few of them being predated upon by oh sea yeah? stars. Um, mm. And so s sea stars, for example, eat, probably eat a lot of these different oh yeah? corals. But not the brittle stars. The, no, the brittle stars are just kind of hanging out, filter feeding. Yeah. There's this long, a couple of long comments that I'm receiving here. This person, I think, missed the deadline to be on the chat that you folks are looking at. <laughs> How many weights are on? Hmm? How many weights are on? Are all the weights still on, or did they pitch one? They pitched. Can you look with the bubble? And yeah, yeah. Seem to be sinking. Ooh, kind of. I got a big coral up here. Kind of does look like they pitched one. So we've also got a lot of small rocks on the front porch. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. Auto collect. <laughs> Yeah, Can I get a close-up like on that large fan back there? Um, See maybe if it's we're, possible, please. We're spread. We're uh, stretched out a bit. I need to. Sure. If you're getting pulled, it's. Yeah, I will be. Okay. I need to go. Hopefully, we'll see another. Oh. Let me see. It would be a real ugly zoom. Could the <laughs> tether stretched out in this current? It's like a. Oh. 
yank it on your leash. Didn't get a good look at it, but I think we passed another um, six-armed sea star, so a sol solasterid sea star, sun star. We collected one of those the other day. Want to bring our head around to the north pole? Yeah. That's good for now. Three one five will do. Can, uh, come down five two. Copy that. It's tragic to leave the ridge there, but that's not the way the boat's going. We're headed that way. Sorry guys, stayed on it as long as I could. So. No worries. Thank I stuck it on auto center there, Katachi. Yes. Uh, okay, Paul, you can tilt down a bit and or come down. Hey Dan. Yes ma'am. If you could look up to the left just a little. Up to the left. I'm not sure if that's a C star on Chris Kelly's list. I need to take a look. Up more. Roger. Uh, no, not that. Up. Coming up. Is that? Oh yeah. I see the C oh, star. Oh, large one. Yeah. Push in there if you want. Yep. Is that something? Taking a look here. Okay. It's having lunch on something. I don't think so, but it is a nice shot. Oh. Get to see it. Slowly taking the polyps off that coral there. Oh yeah. It's a so small bamboo coral. It's it eaten. does eat the bamboo coral, doesn't it? Yeah, it sort of just strips all the polyps off. Interesting. Very nice. In Olelo, Hawaii, the sea star is a pea. And then the coral is koa. And if I were to put this view into a sentence, I would say, ke aine ka pea ike koa. The sea star is eating the coral. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have this little sheet here with me, I'm going to try All and right. incorporate nice. this a bit more with us. Certainly looks like it's had a few meals. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, this seems like the opposite of filter feeding. <laughs> <laughs> seems a bit thicky. He's probably been in this one spot for like weeks. Just <laughs> gorging. This. Yeah. <laughs> seems like we have too. You guys ready to go? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I have a very short attention span. Oh, here we're looking at, um, I think... Victor Gorgid, yeah. Victor Gorgia coral. We saw a bunch of yesterday. I don't know that we've seen that. Victor Gorgia. Push in there if you want, Jeff. Yeah, get a quick zoom on that. I'm just going to be repeating some names after you, just so I can practice pronunciation of these words. Sure. Yeah, that's a pretty one. Brian, do these Brian corals have any defense star. mechanisms? Any defense mechanisms? To prevent, you know, what we just saw? I do think they have some chemical defense mechanisms, but I'm not the person to really ask about that. I don't know a ton about it. Sorry, I was trying not to uh, munch the sea star there. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you. Asako says this is the second one we've seen. Okay, so we saw one of these earlier. Katachi, can you... Uh, 
rehome the DVL. We're right there at the moment. Thank you. No problem. Do you want the ship to hold position um, and for you to, you guys to drive over? No, we're good. Okay. Just uh, spent a little longer looking at the sea star than I should have. Now we pay for it. You guys can work it out in the uh, in the mass of the ships moving, whatever, however many meters a minute, and we're say 20 meters in front of Argus, and then we have about 60 to 90 seconds before uh, we're getting run over by Argus, and then another uh, half a minute or so after that before, and then we're at we're on the other end of the box, so I have to make up that. 30, 40 meters, and <coughs> invariably we see something really cool in that time I'm trying to make it up, and we stop again, so. You know, Argus is on deck, right? Sorry, <laughs> yeah, Argus is on deck. Whatever that little one we got in there. There's another you know, purple. So. Can we get a zoom on this big colony here? Yeah. Come right down, down yeah. You're hitting the rocks, you're too low. Wow. Really some beautiful colors between the two of them there. Beautiful. What's that, Ryan? I'm not, not sure. Too close. Let me back up a little. That little worm looking thing to the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's left a corner. Maybe a sea cucumber down here. Push in there if you want, Jeff. Yeah, can we take a snap zoom of that? Is that what you were asking about, um, Fiona? Which one? The, what were you asking about? <laughs> I forgot what I was asking about. <laughs> yeah, that's why I use those 20 meter boxes to kind of time it for how long I think we should look at something before we get tugged. So we're not sure the ID on this pink coral. Wow. On the pink one or the? The pink one, yeah. All right. Interesting. Is that max zoom, Dan? No. Oh. Full polyp zoom there. All right. Thanks. That's, nice. uh, I, I would yeah, say that's max zoom. zoom. Polyps out. Looking Interesting healthy. how the right-hand side of it's white. I mean, that's... Right, yeah. quite, quite a bit brighter than the left hand side of it is. That's a good point. I think maybe some of the polyps are oriented more down on the right side, so yeah. you're seeing a little more skeleton. Yeah, that's possible. Mm -hmm. I can uh, move around a bit here if you want. I was wondering if we wanted to turn on the lasers or not. Just a random question. Lasers, no sure, lasers. Sure, we get an idea of how big it is real mm -hmm. quick. Lasers on. Thank you. Okay. That's a great shot. Thank you. Is it possible to get a quick zoom on this CQ guy cover? down here? Sure. Go ahead, Jeff. Just sort of a snap zoom. Huh. A little different looking guy. Yeah. See some of his, what look like feeding appendages down towards the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's great, thank you. Okay, off we go. Here's a question from the crowd. I was wondering if you ever turned the engines slash thrusters off of Herc and monitor the life that swims by approach slash approaches the vehicle, considering um, perhaps some noise that Herc make, might that, make. That's a bit of a conundrum because uh, 
If we turn off the thrusters, we float. Mm. And uh, and we drift as well, so we, c we can't hold position without the thrusters. Mm -hmm. so. and, and the thrusters aren't the main source of noise off of HERC. Yeah, the hydraulic motor that's uh, running on HERC is the... HERC is actually fairly loud. I, I feel like... There the was ship. an instrument out at some point that was uh, meant for very low light. Right? Does anyone else remember this? Yeah, the PAR sensor. Yeah, it was back in November, wasn't it? Okay, Paul, you can, uh, I'm going to come down the hill here so you can come down and bring your head around to the north. Like trying to image bioluminescence or something like that? Mm. I think so. Um, so there definitely are people looking at that that come out here. Some of those yellow cores we were looking at earlier um, actually bioluminesce, which is mm. a really cool phenomenon. Huh. Can look down a bit, come down a bit more for me. I might have come down the hill a little too far. I'll come back up. Someday we'll have that special light and special camera and be able to document things like bioluminescence better. Mm -hmm. Is Sylvia Earle that, um, that researcher that does a lot of oceanography also? I might be thinking of another person. Yeah, Sylvia Earle. Her deepness. Let's try, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, I'll live with that one for a while. She's done a lot uh, with National Marine Sanctuaries and different expeditions and outreach. Mm. Still moving north, are you, George? And working with the d deep worker submersibles, single, and the newt suit. Mm. Yeah, but you're still, the boat's still moving, is it? Do we want to keep moving north? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to keep going if we can. Keep Did going? the ship stop? Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry, I wasn't. Yeah, let's keep let's keep trucking. Okay, George. Uh, heading zero. Let's make a move of two hundred meters. Yep. <coughs> Actually, uh, we're running out of time a little bit, and since the vehicles are kind of far off to the northeast of us. Maybe we can cut the corner and have the ship towards way the next waypoint, you know what I mean? Uh, as in waypoint five or yeah. waypoint six? Uh, I six. Six? Yeah. Okay. So let's move the ship that way and then I'll get um, the vehicles maybe up by where waypoint five yeah, is. Yeah, you want to come up the hill a bit, do you? Okay. All right, George, uh, 450 meters at heading 330. Way better heading. Actually, if you want to go right up the hill, it would be uh, the see way we were going before. Seeing a few there. black corals here. That orange one at near the bottom is uh, staropathies, I believe. And then the sort of more tree looking one is a pathy pathies. you want to toss one of those weights while we're waiting to get going here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so we have about 45 minutes left. I was hoping to get into sort of the lower depression area, but um, if we can't, that's okay. But I think I'd like to be on the lookout for collecting two more rock samples. One would be a um, one for uh, ferromanganese crusts, which should be Kind of like this very smooth, like bo bowling ball looking rocks. And another one for geochemistry would be more angular, um, less shiny. So as we progress, we'll just keep our eyes out for representative samples that might be good. Do you have a reference? No, low hanging fruit. 
Looks like the knot on the left is. I'm gonna go for that one first. Yeah. You got some small rocks meticulously put in the front. Yeah. What was it for Jess? She likes to collect things off the vehicle and stage them in the ROV shop. But I don't know if they're not bio biology, she might lose interest. Is this the right? Yep, I don't know where. I've got. Let's see what that does for us. How much you per each one of those? How much do they weigh each? Those weights are 16 pounds each. I might toss the other one here, but see if I can. Deal with it. Sixteen in water. Crap secure. Right. <laughs> uh, no, we can answer it, I guess. Look, it's that, is that the same Carl that we were questionable on what it was earlier? I think so. I don't know if it's the same individual, but. <laughs> we're at the lightning vertical speed now of one <laughs> meter a minute. You should add your toss belt up to Pilots, is it possible to look at this sea star here? Absolutely. Thank you. Just a quick zoom. Go ahead, Great. Jeff. This looks like a different six armor. Whoa. Pretty cool. It looks almost translucent. Yeah, you can really see its tube feet coming off mm -hmm. each of the arms there. Full zoom, is it? Why that far away? Okay. All right, great. Thank you. Sorry. I got to look down some more. It was way far away. You were way far away. Sorry. <laughs> and could we, is it possible to look at the base of, sorry, this coral right here? Yeah. Just want a quick zoom on the base, maybe help get an ID on it. Octocorals can be really difficult to ID. So one of the things that Go ahead, Jeff. is sort of diagnostic of different groups is the base, along with the polyp morphology, how it branches, Turn a lot of up. different things. Um, and then, of course, it's DNA, which you need a sample of it to really figure out. That's really helpful. Thank you. Is that enough light on it for you, right? Uh, yeah, that should be good, I think. Oh, that's a better shot. Beautiful. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Still having to thrust up. Only reason we're getting away with it is because of the rocky bottom. So we've ruled out bamboo coral on that one, but we still don't have a great ID for it. So do you want to drop the other one? Uh, well, we're getting pretty close to. Uh, uh, no, I'm all right for now. We will eventually, yeah, uh, before we come up. 
Yeah, sounds good. Come down five if you want. Copy that. Can you put lasers on? You want lasers on? Yeah. This helps looking at some sizes of some of these rocks. Yeah, definitely. some people in the chat who think it's a chrysogorgid and I think that's they may be onto something um, maybe a primnoid I'm not sure chrysogorgid I think is tilt where I'm leaning to though, bit, so good job chat tilt up tilt yeah. up just a bit The ship move, moving just slowly, huh? Yeah, he's just moving at point two. Is uh, Argus not swinging yet? Are we waiting for the move to catch up, or? No, it's yeah, it doesn't appear to be moving. Yeah. I think the ship is still moving though. Oh yeah, yeah. it's talking. It's taking quite a while here in the current. Yeah, yeah I think so. Keep an eye out for the similar, the same the one. Same one, yeah. yeah. for a, a rock that might have a nice crust. Was that the one you were looking for? With the yeah, there was on another it? one a little bit left. I wouldn't... That one's pretty good. Thank you. Rock with a coral on it? We don't need the coral, though. Can we look a little to the left, Dan? I think there was another similar-sized rock that we might be interested in. Yeah. Yeah, this one right here. Oh, yeah. That's pretty big. Not that big. I don't know what they got in the box so far. Can that fit in the front? Do you want to grab it up? Yeah. Yeah. What are we uh, grabbing? Sorry, I was... That rock right there to the left of the coral. Can that, that fit in the front? Yeah. right here yeah oh. feel heavy Lasers on or off for the spin. Laser on, please. 
copy that. Could you rotate it a bit? Yeah, I was going to do full. Put it a little lower so Jeff can zoom in. <coughs> out in the light, too. Move out just a bit, you'll get the light on it. What's that on the back? Looks like a... Yeah, right there. Good victory. Sea star. Roll. Another sea star. Yeah, that's a brittle star. Nice fuzzy looking one. It looks like got one of its arms chopped off by something too. Brittle star. All, All right. right. Happy with the view? Forward box B is available. For awesome. Forward B? Forward B. Is there any floaty bits in there? Uh, no. Roger. Which one? B. Uh, Forward land. box B. There is no B. Should be the one on your right. <laughs> the one with the horseshoe on it. Is that oh. a gamma? Yeah. Omega. Sorry. Omega, sorry. Lambda and Omega. Hmm. Looks like a horseshoe. Yeah, port port on on. <laughs> Roger. Katachi, are you logging s samples in nav? Because we don't have C log oh, yeah. right now for some reason. Yeah, I am. Are we supposed to log the metal plates too? Uh, I don't think so. Which okay. joint but, um, if, you, if you have a work... Get Wor come do you still tighter. have a working C log? Um, oh, there check. we go. What was that C star, Ryan? Nice one. Brittle star. Brittle star. Yeah, I think mine works. Huh. Do we need a Niskin fired? What's the sample number? Five. That's, oh, sample number? 43? Sample number 43, Katachi, yep. if you can just log it. Huh. It's interesting you have access. Did I hear, uh, do we want a Niskin with this one? Oh, sorry, no. I don't think. Pitch well, that yeah, other, no, no. I don't pitch think that other plate. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got that one up out, would you? No, we don't need a Niskin. Raj, but it, I can't I even don't see think. Did Beth want that with hers? She didn't say. All I heard was that they yeah. wanted above high diversity. Okay. Oh, there it is. We, we do have two left though, I think, right? Yeah, but one for background. Yeah. Here, I'll give you a view in Argus or, or Hercules or Atlanta, whatever that vehicle is. <laughs> yeah, look, he's still in sea log. That's weird. There, you can see yourself. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to straighten out a little bit. I'm all twisted up here. The left one's easier to get. Let me get the hard one on the way up. It's a pair. Yeah, if you could open that, Katachi. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, not me personally, but uh, Dwight and the data logger have had issues with it. I'm just entering it for them. You guys want to see the sea star while we're here? Sure. Paul, get that manipulator out of the way there. Ready to ditch the plate? Yes, sir. Oh. Lift up a little more. Uh, you have to bring it to your left, the more in front of the vehicle. There you go. Perfect. 
Hey, is it in there, Jeff? To like have more buoyancy to uh, drive around a little easier. This one might be inching its way up to that coral for a little snack. Mm -hmm. Sneak attack. <laughs> can really see some tube feet out at the end of its left arm there. Oh, yeah. Driving the ROV with the minute put over there. Okay. Time to go. Play and see star check. Can bring it to the right just yeah. a bit, Paul, so it's out of the camera. That was for sample forty three. Mm -hmm. Yep. That'll do. Perfect. Thank you. Could you remind us on the kind of rocks we're trying to um, keep an eye out for to collect? Yeah, well, um, we are kind of after two different types of rocks. Some uh, are for studying Tilt the ferromanganese crusts, and then the others are stud for studying the um, isotopic, basically Perfect. geochemistry of nice the rocks. Either. And so um, the ones for the ferromanganese crusts would be altered and potentially formed differently than the volcanic rocks that we're looking to collect for geochemistry. But it's sometimes hard to tell the difference. Mm. And um, there's ferromanganese yeah. nodules and Quick then ferromanganese crusts. The, so grow there, yeah. the crusts can grow on the volcanic rock. I see. Thank you. And I so I look for ones that are basically more um, smooth looking and actually like this rock has this what's called I think boitroidal structure to it, it looks like little bubbles on it mm -hmm. that's um, part of the process of the ferromanganese crust formation on the ro on top of the volcanic rock come up uh, and so to get a to get a good rod. good sample for Valerie, or three meters, she wants ones three, three. that don't have that much alteration on them. She would rather have a very angular looking rock that um, is sort of an unaltered rock that is representative of the lava. Thank so you. So maybe one that wasn't exposed to seawater for as long. So the mm. ideal sample would be something from like a rocky ledge or outcrop where you can pull a rock out that's loose, mm. that didn't have as much interaction with seawater. But they're, hu they're hard to find, you, they're hard to collect. Oh, oh there's a fish. Was Thank that you. the same one as earlier? Zoom in or a bit. Similar? Perfect. Yeah. Oh, it's looking at us. Hey, buddy. It's like it heard me. <laughs> So I think this is a macrourid fish. Macrourid. Macrouridae. Maybe a Coryphenoides. I'm seeing a few of those. Coryphenoides. Coryphenoides. That's fun to say. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that could be our watch name. Coryphenoides. <laughs> Coryphenoides. <laughs> I keep Corey wanting to go up the hill there. All the good stuff's up the hill. Is that a lily, lily kind of coral? Crinoid. I'm getting it. <laughs> They're actually related to sea stars. They're mm. a type of a echinoderm, not a coral. They like to live perched up on top of things. So I've been seeing a lot of those on like 
dead glass sponge. And they're today. filter feeders. Yeah. Question from the crowd. Have you ever seen any big with capital B I G squid while doing a live video? Any big squid? We uh, get inked a lot on our initial <laughs> descent. That's pretty common. Right when we launch the vehicles, the squid near, are near the surface and attracted to the lights. And uh, frequently, when we just start a dive, we get inked. Mm hmm. But those are sometimes small squid that have lots of ink. <laughs> oh. Uh, they have imaged the giant squid with a camera. Not we haven't, but mm. other groups have. Thank you. I think if you look on the YouTube page, you'll see what Dwight was talking about, although it was actually on the ascent, not the descent. Back in back in November, and the crew was a little rummy, and our commentary was uh -huh. we, were, we were being attacked or under attack. So we have about twenty five minutes left. I think we should collect an e DNA now. That's the case. Um, we can wait till we, if the background the one. Oh no, we have one more oh, left. One more left, yeah. yeah. Well, let's see if we see another sort of uh, coral diversity area. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why we're trying to get up the next hill, but I'm not sure we're gonna make it. Uh, if we bump the ship uh, 20 meters to the west, I think you'd be happier with what you're seeing. We're kind of following this contour right below the Ridge here. Yeah. yeah. Um, you want I can't tell if that's an uphill or a downhill, though. Yeah, uphill's in front of me, so just below the, like if I come back down in front of Argus, we're. Yeah, let's do that, of, yeah. Katachi. Let's move the ship west and see if we climb up this last little. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be it. gentle because then it's going to drop yeah. down the other side. Let's do 40 meters west. 40 meters west, please. Yeah. It might be interesting to see some of that slope on the west side, too. That's correct. I think we're seeing a Sanafa Rankin eel in the bottom right of frame. Zoom in just a bit, Jeff. Copy. That's good. Wow. Come down five, Paul. Very splotchy looking. Yeah. <coughs> it's like swimming there into he did. the current. Clearing his gills there when he shakes his head. Uh, it's a thing they do. Looks like he's fighting the current too. Totally. Getting pushed around. And did it again. Oh, yeah. I thought for a while they were doing that because they were uh, the light or the noise from the vehicle, but um, Steve was saying that's a that's a natural behavior they have to clear their, clear We're their like gills. like hitting this football, Dan. <laughs> it looked like it just got attacked by one of <laughs> the corals. It's like it really didn't like touching yeah, it. Yeah, it didn't want to run into that glass sponge. And yeah, the glass sponge. Having handled sponge. some glass sponges, uh, I, I could see why you feel like getting stabbed.
Aloha mai, kuumakua hine, aloha wau ya oe. Aloha everyone Bring who's tuning in from Hawaii yeah. and from all over the world. Let's let's go ahead and name you guys out. So we have um, we have the U.S., we have Canada, Australia, Japan, Germany, um, the United Kingdom, China, South Africa, Sweden, Pakistan, um, the Philippines. Korea, um, the Republic of, Hong Kong, Guam, Greece, um, Spain, Barbados, and Austria. Thank you all for joining us and just enjoying the amazing science and exploration that we all get to endure and um, have the privilege of watching. What's that pile right there to the right? You haven't seen another one of those pink corals, have you? No, I haven't seen one. We're looking at some hemichorallium here. Super interesting how these large boulders have like a f just a ton of life on it. Yeah. It might be the advantage of a current that it experiences further away from the boundary. For sure. So the flow at the boundary is going to be really minimal, just like how um, if you have a fan and you don't you leave it on for a while, it's going to accumulate dust right on the edge. Mm. So there's actually no flow right at the boundary, and the further away you get, the greater the flow. Mm. Looks like a big dead sponge on that guy, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I've also noticed a lot of things that have settled on smaller rocks. As they grow too large, they essentially act as a sail and sort of get knocked over. Mm. Um, so. Settling on a larger rock like this sort of prevents that from happening. Aloha ahi ahi e ko kauai. Hello there, Fresno, California. This might be bubblegum coral. Hey, actually, Steve. Not hemichorallium. <laughs> Jeff? Oh, uh, my buddy from uh, Fresno. Oh. I'm assuming that's from. Do you think you're at the crest of this little rise, or is it still going no, up in front of you? Still going up. Yeah, let's keep going. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's going to the southwest. Some of the stuff we saw when uh, George was on holiday up there. Yeah. <laughs> We seem to seeing a lot more life around here. Yeah, big sea like star up ahead. Elevated. Mm. Yeah, another big one. Hey, uh, ko, uh, the rock is a uh, is pohaku. Oh, there's a bunch of there's stuff big back there. Right there. Does the boat have IG? Yes, we do. Nautilus Live is our Instagram, I believe. Hey, Kansas City, Missouri. Wow, oh, so why is a big coral on the rock in front of us? At this one looks time? like a pretty pretty good coral diversity for a, another, another eDNA sample. What do you think? Another think Edna. So. Yeah, it looks good. An Edna. 
Is that um, one of the corals you, we saw before, Ryan? Uh, this is not the same species, no. This is mm. uh, Hemicorallium. To confirm, we do want a Niskin here? Yes. Copy that. Craft coming on. Roger. That thing's huge. Uh, Katachi was still in it. I. Katachi was still using it. Oh, so. uh, maybe not. Ah. <laughs> Alrighty, got it. Ah, oh, thank you, Justin. We are going for green. Um. Number five. Number five. Yeah, sure. I think so. is running. We have 15 minutes to log all, all the events for the whole dive so far, <laughs> the whole watch so far. I'm going to cry. <laughs> you got this, Fiona. I believe in you. <laughs> you can go back in time. She's been writing hand notes. I've yeah. Seen. Awesome. <laughs> Ready for the Niskin? Ready. Yes. Oh, I think I already just popped it. Looks so. like it. Thank you. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, yeah swing that thing out. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Swinging left while I was coming forward. I go. Oh. I think we do still have one more of the uh, Alvin Waits. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right for now. Only, only got a few minutes left here, so. That was a really old paracord, yeah, probably with a huge base. Now it's... Pushing a bit there, Jeff. Basket Scott Star. Scaffolding. Interesting. That was a, a gigantor. Put that bubble camera back. Uh, a little bit of living tissue still on there. <laughs> here as well. Big crab to go with the big coral. Oh wow. Not, not sure. Not sure either. Look at that one. I think it's quite as spiky as a king crab. Maybe that's a young king crab. Sorry, you said that was a king crab? Maybe a juvenile. I don't think so, though. It didn't look spiky enough to me. Have a look again, but uh, I'll put my tail into the current, which will push me into the tree there. Hello there, Reno, Nevada. Push in a bit more, Jeff. 
Perfect, thanks. I love the way these Paragorgia branches sometimes <laughs> wiggle in the current. And it <laughs> wiggles that much because it's so fast. <laughs> I liken it to string that's rattling up against a mast pole. That's so irritating. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Is that a basket star? Yeah. Yeah. One of those ones we collected yesterday. Oh. Basket star. That was amazing, that thing yesterday. Yeah. Same association, Paragorgia, basket star, but yeah. yesterday was completely Out of covered. control. <laughs> yeah. Can we take a quick look at this white coral here? Yeah. Let's change, uh, let's move the ship uh, 20 meters south. Uh, sorry, which one, right? I lost the plot there. This one right yeah, here. Right. Bridge, this is Nev. This might be the Paracalyptrophora we were seeing earlier. Not Make sure. it uh, 40 meters southwest. Paracalyptrophora. Go 40 meters southwest, please. Uh, 200 and 245, yeah. Yeah, so definitely a primnoid. Octocoral. Push in a bit there, Jeff. That's good, thanks. Mm. Looks a little different to me than the one from earlier. Good morning, Sweden. One Question. Yep. There's a bunch of those, are those little sea stars or spot lobsters? Those one of those sea stars that we just Yeah, just I think those it. are brittle stars in there. Brittle stars. We have a request from a scientist ashore for the yellow coral behind this one. Right here. Oh, I didn't even see that. This one? Yeah. Flexora, maybe? Maybe. It's going to take me a minute to get around there. We're broadside to the current that way. Full power. <laughs> Spin. <laughs> you can see which way the current's blowing. What was the yeah, name of that push in a bit there, Jeff. Just in a bit more before the current gets me. Yeah, uh, come back out again. Thanks. I can set her down here before it sails me into it. It's a movable rock. Oh, she uh, responded. Yeah, so we think this is an acanthic origin. Oh. Sorry, I got my tail under the breeze there. That's, That's okay. okay. We That's can a good see the shot. polyps yeah. pretty good. Uh, hold. All right. I have some viewers that are wanting me to sing the Kumulipo song, which is the song of 
Hawaiian creation that starts with the coral polyp. It's pretty. F Are you settled on the bottom here? I um, was, yeah. I can. Oh, I'd so like to see to pull a rock out of this little outcrop in front of us, mm. uh, if we could, and this could be our last rock sample. Roger. I need to uh, let me spin around there so we don't have our tail into the breeze. Should we uh, stop the ship? No. Okay. Anywhere in here? It's fine. Um, I was thinking to the left, the not instead of a loose one, uh, kind of one that was. Yeah, the left is a outcrop here. Yeah. Might be hard. Uh, I have better luck if I come around and face into the wind a bit. Yeah, try it's that. Really blowing hard to the. Your head to the left, please, Paul. Yeah, looking for something that doesn't have animals on it. Uh, Negatory Dan. Maybe this guy. We do not have spin on Atalanta. Oh, I'm too far to the south. That's. Uh, sorry. Which one? It just uh, it's just below you. Yeah, just on the bottom of the screen. Ready for me to still bubble and yep. not yet. Actually these to the left look pretty good too. Poke around in there and Yeah, see if you can dislodge something. We're probably gonna get sunk to there. Oh. It's all pretty uh yeah. yeah. You want one of these? Yeah. I grab it up because you're about to get tugged. Oh. Nice one, Paul. Looks pretty good. And I think we have a spot on the start in the starboard bio for this guy, but yeah. let's take a sh photo of it first. You get it in the laser? kind of yeah there we go nice thank you are we good on the uh, views uh, yeah you're good all right where's this one going uh, starboard box B copy Can I ask, uh, George to hold position there yeah I think we need to set up for recovery now anyway guys all right George this is Nev Please hold position. Where is that going? Starboard? Starboard, Starboard. box B. No floaties in there? None. Or, or, let me check. Uh, no. B is also one of the front ones, right? Oh. All no, right, Trevor renamed them. No, he, yeah, the front ones are... Lambda and... Yeah. Lambda and Omega. Omega. No, no, I meant the front ones in this one, but... Is that B? I can't really see it. Oh. Oops, sorry. Wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push that button, please.
that. Yep. All right. Um. Any last look at anything? This all looks like things we've had a pretty good look at today. Are we uh, going to do another NIST? Yeah, we are. Uh, rise up 10 meters. Um, if you guys are ready, if you want to get set up for the... Get yourself in a re new position, that's fine. Then we'll come up 10 meters. Yeah, uh, we can come up 10 here if you're... Is that it? We're done? I think so, yeah. I calculated uh, two hours and 12 minutes to the surface at 15. It, it, um, my math's right, right? Yeah. Uh, you need any more actions on Atalanta here? Nope. Pull that last nisket and toss some weights. We're on our way up. Uh, porch light. Are we at about 10 meters? 7.5. Eight meters. The current has auto set up Hercules for recovery. So oh, can you, uh, <laughs> I guess switch to the um, other side so we can see the bottle. All right. Cameras, uh, port rail cam. Point. All right, got, got it. it. Last fist in and one more dive weight. Uh, yeah, you can get the other dive weight. Whatever's left on there. We are coming up. Got a few extra little nodules on the porch. <laughs> Dumped out of that scoop bag or something. Look at that current. It's just, it's like when I, as soon as I let go of the ROV, seeing uh, Atlanta's app camera, it just, boom. <laughs> That's funny. Nice grab. Thank you. Something's not quite right there. What am I doing? Am I caught up? Oh, I might be caught up there. Hold on with your uh, manipulator there for a second. Yeah, you want to bring your uh, shoulder down? Oh. What's wrong with that picture? Looks like that tether is... Ah, uh, yeah, what happened there? On That's the it. camera. Don't worry, <laughs> we're coming up. <laughs> Ignore, ignore. <laughs> it's Paul, he got the... Uh, don't open the nisk and dent. Oh, dang. Paul was moving the tether around with the manipulator. <laughs> you can bring it down <laughs> a little more, Paul. Bring your shoulder down for me. Thank you. And we're free. Beautiful. Sorry about that. <laughs> Was it? Okay, you can stow it now. <laughs> Beautiful I don't, twirl. Uh, I don't think the, minute the tether should be in the oh, way yeah. of the manipulator. I don't get worry about the tether. It gets, goes where it wants to go. It kind of puts a new new perspective on what a wrap is, though, doesn't it? <laughs> well, that one wrap around the vehicle. Well, that ain't nothing. <laughs> Easy save. Is this about where we like to stow it for recovery? Yeah. 
I don't bother setting up for recovery. I just come up on the winch. It'll sort itself out. <laughs> Look at that. 7.48, two hours and 12 minutes. Perfect. So that's all the weight's gone, is it? Yeah. Okay, full vertical up. All right, Mal and I, now you can sing your song. Oh, I have okay. a couple questions from the crowd. This, this person's been waiting for 14 minutes and seven seconds. Um, good morning, dear Sweden. Um, what was the scariest moment you guys ever experienced while driving the ROV? You just saw it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about it. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Scariest moment. Uh, they yeah. Hmm. Well, I know it hasn't really happened to us, but I know that some people have gotten tangled in ship into rigging around shipwrecks and like mm. fish fishing nets and things like that. That's definitely a scary moment. I've got a I've got a fun one. Was we were over at the Octacone, um, over in near the shore of California, trying to basically recover some temperature sensors that we'd left the year before. So we really wanted to recover these because uh, you know, they'd been there taking the data for a year. Um, and you know, we must have spent like an hour looking for wherever we stashed this crate of sensors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and more than an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Many hours. <laughs> Uh, and finally we spot them. Um, we are setting up, you know, to get in position to recover all these sensors. And right when that happens, we notice a, uh, a leak in Argus's main bottle. And uh, we're trying to quickly think, is there enough time to, to <laughs> recover these sensors? And pretty immediately we realize that no, we only have a couple minutes before uh, we're going to lose all communications with the vehicles. So that that was a painful moment for me, for sure. It was also painful for, uh, what's his name? The chief scientist there? The Oh, um, Chad King. Yeah. Yeah. He was, you Wait know. Wait for we a year to get your <laughs> yeah, data. Yeah, waiting for <laughs> a can, year. And then look for it for hours. <laughs> oh, that must have been at Monterey at the... That, yeah. that was at the Octopus Garden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. then have it in sight. <laughs> I mean, uh, and then the lights go out. And Bob Chad Waters <laughs> was like starting to reach out with the arm, <laughs> <laughs> and we had to abort. Oh. Were you able to get back there? I think they the, were able to. The recover, next year. Yeah. yeah. Next year. Yeah. Which uh, just goes to show you how much patience can be involved in science. We came up with uh, Argus starboard bottle full of seawater. Took about three hours to vent. It was oh. a deep dive. Mm -hmm. And then it took about three days to breathe life back into it. Yeah. Um, oh. We still got that fast forward video. <laughs> you and Jess and uh, Jake. Yeah. Me, Paul, and who else do we have? 